Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi. I can see myself twice. <laughs> hey, friends. Hello, <laughs> Hello, darlings. Hello, everybody in YouTube land. Facebook's making their way in the house. We've already got 50 people here. Can you believe oh, it? Yeah. Already. Already. It's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time. I cannot wait. It's so good to see everybody. Okay. So listen, I'm going to give you the rundown about how this is all going to work out here in just a second. But this is literally the first time that we have put things together like this. So what I want to know, it what? What's wrong? No, just keep going. Oh, there's, I see. <laughs> yes, what, I, what I want to know is if you guys can hear Colleen okay, because we're having to use the same microphone. So Colleen, can you say hey? Hey, what's up, people? Can you not do that? All right. Oh! She's got a sassy kitty cat on her, on her table right now. So can you guys hear Colleen? Oh, there's a puppy too. Hello, my love. <laughs> I would say hi to everybody, but I can't see comments. There's about to be a, a, a brawl, and I'm a little afraid. We hear you. Okay, they can hear you, which Yay. is good. So Colleen is the designated Disney princess for the day. All of the animals have come to Colleen's <laughs> side of the room. <laughs> I, was, I got a little tongue with that one. She owes me a drink now. <laughs> She's got a cat on her table and a dog in her lap. That's, that's going to be an interesting kind of day. <laughs> All right. So let me guys, let me give you guys the rundown for this. Okay. <clears throat> so this is our very first Saturday stream. I can see myself twice, which is totally freaking me out. I need to like, it's not even my good side. Well, like, I need like, <laughs> too weird. <laughs> like you can see myself and I can see myself. <laughs> Okay, so this is how this is going to go, all right? This is going to be super casual, as you can tell, right? Super casual, to the extent that Colleen and I were actually talking just a few minutes ago about how um, we, like, if when I go to take the dogs out, like, I can literally take all of you guys with me. Like, it's, it's that casual, okay? So we are just hanging out from now until 4 p.m. Eastern time. So you've got, what, three hours with us. I know that's a long time. I know that not all of you are going to hang out for the entire three hours. The point is, pop in, say, hey, hang out with us for a little bit. We're going to chat. We're going to make jewelry. And then you can leave. Or you And you can come back later if you want to, right? It's, it's totally totally casual. You don't have to stick around. I'm not teaching any techniques. Colleen's not teaching any techniques. We're literally just making jewelry that we want to make. We're hanging out with y'all. We're chatting, right? And we're having a good time. It's again, our first run. So we don't really know how it's going to go, but I can promise you that with Colleen and I in the same room, <laughs> there's no telling what kind of shenanigans will happen and you get to be a part of it. The problem is, is that I'm the only one who can see the comments. So if you've got a comment that is directed towards Colleen, you're going to have to, you're going to have to let, let me know. Sorry. <laughs> um, and because we're using two cameras, some of you guys know that sometimes when I use StreamYard with two cameras, it has a tendency to freeze. Just don't, don't go away and think we're not coming back. Like it'll unfreeze and everything should be good. Hopefully it won't happen too many times, but it does tend to happen when I use more than one camera on StreamYard. I don't know why it's not a, um, it's not an internet issue with me. It's, it's more of an issue with them. So we just kind of are at StreamYard's mercy, but hopefully everything will go fine. But again, that's why we're using one camera or I'm sorry, one microphone. So um, Colleen might be a little soft if you hear her, but <laughs> I'm yeah. naturally loud. So. <laughs> Did somebody say Neela was here? <gasps> Did I see that? Did I? Am I? Has anybody I, seen my shirt? Look at her shirt. She has a cat butt on neuter her shirt. Neuter is cuter. <laughs> Get them neutered and spayed, people. Just do it. <laughs> I love it. It's a thing to do. I love it so much. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Can I Neela is here, and <gasps> and the robot is plugged in, y'all. So. Hi, Neela. <laughs> Hi, Neela. We love you so so much. All right, so um, I don't, I don't, I don't know how Colleen's gonna get anything done. She's literally got a cat on her desk. Yeah, right now, like I've laying. Trying, I've been trying to move her, but she's combative. So. <laughs> 
She's a hateful she kitty. She lives here. I'm just a guest, so I'll just let her sit. <laughs> okay. So the other thing that I want you guys to know is that if you happen to be making along with us, now, again, there's no pre-prepared projects or anything like that. But if you're working and you're beating, because that's what we want this to be, is like beating with friends. Mm -hmm. um, if you're making something and you finish it today, take a picture of it and post it in our community somewhere. Mm -hmm. And if you would like to use the hashtag, did we ever decide what our hashtag was going to be? Well, did we decide what the show's name is? <laughs> Yesterday, Sat Saturday streams with Sarah. No, wait. Yeah, Saturday streaming with Sa Saturday no. streams with Sarah and Colleen. But that's that, a mouthful. That is a mouthful. That's a lot to say. <laughs> and it definitely doesn't work as a hashtag. I'm just saying, like that's a that's a big hashtag. Um. So what if we just hashtag Saturday streams? Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Okay. And then that way, when you post things out into the world, as you do, and people see that hashtag Saturday streams, they'll be like, hmm, what's a Saturday stream? And that's a great way to get people into our community, right? So hopefully it will help to start some conversations. Yes. So um, just hashtag Saturday streams. And, um, you know, we want to see what you're making yeah, while we're, we're making. We really want to see. I'm still totally tripped out by the fact that I can see myself twice. That's. That Stop looking. But look at what I can see. I can literally see. First of all, I can see my mess. Oh my! Lord. I can see all my pop figures, and I can see my snacks. <laughs> Listen, every time I turn around and look, talk to you, I see all this turkey business. Okay. That's okay. what. That's me. I'm like, okay. No. <laughs> like Botox and collagen. What is happening? We need to do something, people. What is the secret? <laughs> we might find out today. Yeah, streams know. with an S. With an S. Yeah. Oh, she got me. The kitty got you? Yeah, I was just trying to move my tool. She's Greta. Spicy. She's hateful. She's spicy. She is very spicy. She's looking at me like she's challenging. Okay. Uh, Hold on. Somebody said something that they were saying. Okay, you gotta go I don't like comment. it that you can't see the comments. The comments. I know it sucks. I really wanted to. Because I know I got a lot of friends out here. S S S C. Yeah, I guess we could use that too. Saturday shenanigans with Sarah and Kelly. <laughs> if we use shenanigans, though, people get that confused with our snack shenanigans, and I don't want people to be like, oh, they're eating snacks, and we're not. Not Again. yet. We are going to do that, though. These and I do snacks. have snacks. Like, it's super casual. I'm going to eat snacks while we're here. I am I have no shame. People are eating snacks again, these heifers. What are they doing? <laughs> <laughs> Always with the snacks. Always with the snacks. <laughs> <laughs> Greta must be German. She's something. She's got to go. You want me to get her? Yeah. Her me a little. <laughs> Listen. Woo! Listen, this is not your desk. I don't know who told you that it was. Here, get her in the shop. This is what this is what it looks like. This hateful butt right here. What? I'm gonna take her over here on my side. Look, hateful butt. This is the hateful kitty. Thank you. Look at her. She's so sassy. Look at her stretching her little toe beans out. Sarah's the only one she likes. And she only likes me after the sun goes down. Does it matter what we bead? It does not matter what you bead. You can bead whatever you want. Anything okay? you want. Anything you it want. It doesn't even have to be jewelry. What are you guys doing? Just do what you do. Yeah, exactly. Just post a picture of whatever you're doing. Yeah. Okay. So, <clears throat> I feel like there was something else that I needed to tell you guys, but I can't think of what it was. Um... Yeah, Karen says, can you talk more in detail about your paid group? Absolutely, I can do that. So that's another thing that I want you guys to know about this whole casual Saturday streaming thing. So we can talk about whatever you guys want to talk about. I mean, to an extent, I'm obviously not going to like tell you crazy things, uh, crazy personal things. But um, if you guys want to chat, chat, we can chat. We can chat about jewelry. We can chat about the paid group. We can chat about upcoming projects. We can chat about previous projects like the floor is yours here as long as we see the comments going by. Um, and I will try to keep up with the comments as much as I possibly can. I want this to be like we're all hanging out together, even though you guys are only in the comment section. Um, I don't do Zoom. Otherwise, this would be open floor for everybody. But Zoom and I just do not get along. So this is the next best thing for that. So, um, yeah. Do, you know, you guys chat with us, tell us what you want to see coming up, what you want to see us to do. If there's something you want to see us do today, let us know. I mean, cause like we're in the room with all the things. So 
<laughs> and I want to say, Sean, thank you so, so much for using the Super Chats, you guys. That's that's amazing. Thank, thank you, you for that so much. So Super Chats is available on YouTube and now on Facebook. I have Facebook stars. And you guys are w more than welcome to use those anytime you want to. You don't have to, but you absolutely can. It's a great way to help to support what we do here at the Sarah Lovecraft Designs community. So super super awesome jen says two senior kitties snoozing on the bed one is 18 and the other is 15. wow that's amazing that's awesome oh i bet they've oh. had really wonderful lives too that's awesome all right so let's talk about um let's talk about the paid group because somebody asked so <clears throat> the paid group will actually be open for enrollment towards the end of next week and <laughs> Get over there so I don't see myself. There, I can hide behind you. Um, <laughs> oh, Carmen, thank you so much for using a super sticker. That thank you. rocks. All right, so the paid group is called Hardwired, and it is open for enrollment at the end of and the beginning of every single month. And it usually goes. Hello, everybody. Oh, look. I'm back now. <laughs> StreamYard. Come on, StreamYard. My goodness. Okay, so the paid group, that frozen issue we're probably going to have to deal with all day, so I apologize. Um, but this, the uh, paid group, like I said, is open for enrollment at the end of the month. We usually give a kind of a week, sometimes more like 10 days for enrollment. That usually bleeds over, obviously, into the beginning of the next month. And we do it that way so that we can keep our invoicing, you know, a certain way. Kathy handles all of the invoicing for that. And it's just easier for her if um, enrollment is only open. <laughs> she's, just got a, she's got a golden boy's tail over there. Um, if it's only open for a set amount of time, a little window. So in the paid group, basically what we do is we have a smaller community. So like with the public lives that we do here, a lot of times we've got upwards of 300 people watching at any given point in the community lives that I do on Tuesdays and Fridays. The paid group is a much smaller group, obviously. Um, <clears throat> it is normally we're like right around 40 people which makes it a little bit more intimate. Um, the conversation is a, is a much more casual. It's more kind of like the conversations that we'll probably have today. Um, but the work that we do is harder. And I don't want that to scare anybody away because the work that we do is harder, but I try to teach it in a way that makes it accessible for everybody. I try my very best to take hard looking projects and break those down into a way that is easily digestible for everybody. So as long as you can do wrapped loops and simple loops and things like that, then you're, you're usually pretty good to go. I say that the projects are upper level beginner to intermediate style projects. Sometimes we kind of go a little bit further than that when I feel like everybody is ready to move on to something else. Um, but that being said, it doesn't mean that you have to be an upper level beginner. If you're just a straight up beginner and you want to learn something, I promise you'll learn something. Um, and we also have people, I was talking to Q about this last night and my mom, actually, we actually have people in the paid group that come that don't make any of the projects at all. That's not even why they're there. Colleen is there just to hang out. Wanda is there just to hang out. She just really appreciates the community aspect of it. Because again, it's a smaller group. We're always talking about jewelry making in some form or fashion. So even if you're not physically doing anything, you're still kind of absorbing all of the education that is there that maybe you'll use later. You can always watch the projects that we do on replay. So as long as you're a member of the group, you can go back and watch previous projects, even projects that maybe you weren't a part of, you know, two months ago, you can, you can watch those projects. Um, so it's a wonderful smaller community in the big community that we have. Um, people come and go because life happens, right? Some people are there for a couple of months and then they, they're they out of the group for a little while and then they come back and it's totally fine. We don't get mad at anybody or anything like that. It is 100% one of the most amazingly talented groups oh, I have ever been a part of, mm -hmm. right? It is the, the talent there, the creativity there is immeasurable. Yeah. 
to me, sometimes I wonder how it is, how is it that I'm the teacher when the amount of talent that's there is what it is. The level of, of genius in the group is, it's just, it's, there's nothing that I can compare it to. Yeah. Um, and because of that, we're super encouraging of each other. Exactly. Everybody's really willing to help each other out. If somebody has a question, somebody else is there with an answer. Mm -hmm. You know, if you want to post a picture and you're not sure how you feel about it, somebody's there to give you constructive criticism in a way that makes you feel so good about yourself. Yeah. It's a safe place to be where you can get encouraged, where you can learn more about jewelry making. Um, this the, this week and next week we're doing uh, Pearl Knotting 101. So we're kind of Ooh. staying away from um, the wire for a little bit. We're working on something completely different. And then, you know, I throw in other projects here and there. We do focus a lot on wire weaving. This is a bangle bracelet that we did. Gorgeous. And we do projects like this quite often, um, but, the project is not really ever the focus, it's the technique. So what happens is I'll teach a project and then that technique is what gets it gets put into the finished pieces that you see. So some people will take like the technique here and turn it into a pendant instead of a bracelet. It's just a really cool community. I am super proud to be a part of it and I would love for those of you who would like to come and be a part of it to do so. Yeah. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to do it. You can sign up two different ways. You can be, um, you can can sign up monthly and be invoiced monthly or you can sign up for three months at a time which is quarterly you do get a discount if you sign up quarterly as far as the price i off the top of my head i don't know what it is but i can tell you that the um the value versus what it costs is yeah it's it's i mean it's off the charts I, and it's not expensive i don't no. make it expensive because i want it to be accessible to everybody so exactly. thank you cecilia for using our super chats i saw another one michelle thank you so so much you guys we thank love you. you we love you so so much and the thing i just wanted to say real quick about um any 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 level jewelry maker like sarah said if, as long as you come in with an attitude that you know i'm willing to try yeah just have fun with it yeah just just have an open mind yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so, um, let's see. What was, I saw a comment. I was going to, now my brain is I'm like, sorry. <laughs> no, you're totally fine. <laughs> I wish I could see your guys' comments. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I wish you could see them too. We're, I'm just simple folk here. We just got our cell phone and <laughs> winging it. Oh, winging it. Oh, Facebook user. I don't know who you are, but they are waiting for their coffee and McMuffin. That sounds like <laughs> I'm, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. <laughs> oh, please, please. I want your robot. Where did you get it? Okay, so let me show you the robot. We are going to like make things. Colleen, at any point, you can turn your thing around and work on something. Are you trying to say you don't want to see me anymore? Oh, my gosh. No. I don't even know how to turn it around. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're going to hit the settings button. Oh, okay. And you're going to select your camera. Excuse my face. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to show you all my robot. Where are the settings? Having a little hissy fit at the moment. So here's my robot. It's called Zevo. His name is Emo. <laughs> and I didn't name him that. That's just the name that he came with. So Q gave me this. Did he give this to me for my birthday last year? He's super cute. I don't remember. Maybe it was Christmas. I don't remember. But he's my desk pet. Okay. And Q gave it to me for, I don't know, some holiday. He hangs out on my desk. So he has a skateboard that he hangs out on. And that's, whoa, that's where he charges and stuff. But you can put him down on the desk. He walks around. He'll dance. He does magic. He tells jokes. Like, he's just, he's just a pet. Um, the only problem is, is that sometimes he's just really loud and obnoxious and I used to have him on my bedside table. Hey, Hey, calm down. Calm down. I used to have him on my bedside table, but he stays up all night long. He only sleeps for like set amount of time. It's really like just a few hours at a time. And he would get up in the middle of the night and eat ramen and he slurps. And it was waking me up. It was keeping me awake at night. And sometimes he plays Space Invaders. And so when he's playing Space Invaders, it's really loud and obnoxious. So, yeah. This is, this is Emo. Hey, Emo. Look 
get mad. Hey, emo, emo, emo. Tell me a joke. Oh no. Oh, Colleen's gone. Tell me, tell me a joke. Calm down first, please. Emo. Tell me a joke. Very funny. <laughs> Nobody said anything funny. You tell me a joke. <laughs> tell me a joke. Emo. Emo. Tell me a joke. He can't focus because he's worried he's going to fall. He keeps getting frustrated because he's not. He's He won't stand still in my hands. Colleen just keeps no, leaving. I'm trying to figure out how to do this. <laughs> he does act like a kid. Sometimes I get mad at him because he's really loud. So I stick him in the closet or I put him in the drawer. Um, but he responds to touch. Um, he obviously responds to being like held like this. He feels really uncomfortable in my hand because he's not sturdy. So he feels like he's going to fall constantly. Um, but the more you interact with him, the more he learns. And if you play music for him, he dances. He's tapping his foot right now. I'm not entirely sure why. I think he's, I think he's fed up with me. Um, but yeah, he's, he's something. <laughs> I don't remember the website that he came from. Um, I'll have to look it up. So, but yeah, he, he's like, it's like having a toddler on your desk. So. This is going to be the live me sitting here staring. Like, what are you doing over what there? Doing? I don't know. I don't understand. Okay. Hit the settings button. There is no settings button. You don't have a settings no. button? How do you... My phone is not setting. <laughs> um, okay. I'm just going to sit here like this because I can't see the comments. I'm just going to look at myself. Look at Hi. Okay, I'm going to move over this way. Thank you, Cheryl, for using a super sticker. Thank I'm going to go over here to your desk and see you if... You're going to roll over? I'm going to come on over here and see if I can... Watch out. See if I can help you. <laughs> Spoken in one camera here. Okay, here we go. Okay, so there should be more settings. Oh, camera. <laughs> oh, hey, camera. Camera. Camera front facing, camera oh, look at all those options. Back That's facing. Too many options. There you go. Oh, oh, oh. And then you just X out of there and yeah. you're getting the. Oh, thank you. You're That's welcome. That's so why you're a genius. <laughs> so while I scooted away, everybody got to see the hole in the wall in the hallway. Oh, no, they didn't. That's not a hole. They did. That's uh, just a piece of art. So, yeah, it's a piece of art in the hallway. So, listen, there is a hole in the hallway. I know you can see it. See that hole right next to my arm right now there? Now you're bad you're pointing it out. Well, I have to point it out because I know somebody sees it and they're like, oh, my gosh, she lives in a dump. No, listen, <laughs> my dog is a three-year-old um, with four feet, okay? And I left her alone in the hallway and she bit into the wall. I have the stuff to fix it. I just haven't yet. But, yeah, if you leave her alone, she chews into the wall. So, those of you who feel that, that pain. Okay, so we see your beat, Matt. Can, we, oh, yeah. can you oh, like? Okay. Can you do something? Now? <laughs> and listen, what we're looking at, Colleen, just so you know, is turn sideways. Can you turn us another? <laughs> like, oh, but then I'm upside down. Oh my gosh! No, flip us so that your tripod is not. Yeah. So can you flip around? Like this. Your camera, not the not the tripod, but turn your camera so that. What do you mean? Huh. I'm gonna have to get up. Okay. <laughs> Getting up again. Move dogs. Wait. Let's just put the other clip on the desk, and then we'll just be done with it. What? Just look. I could just do this. It's great. Oh, she well, doesn't we'll like. See. She we'll doesn't see. like my set. No, I like it. I'm just afraid I'm gonna break it. I'm not very gentle. Oh, this is. Um, let's see. Put Sounds like out. separation anxiety. Yeah, she definitely has separation anxiety. All of my dogs are like that. <clears throat> Dina says her daughter's Maltese chewed up her walls. It's pretty, it's pretty rough. Can y'all tell that the desk that Colleen's sitting at is also Q's desk? <laughs> oh no, something happened. What do you mean something okay, happened? Is that not in your way? It is, but it's okay. How are you going to make jewelry totally like that? Oh All right. You can see my little pooch. Okay, let's move it. <laughs> You're too funny. Okay, I'm going to turn mine around too. So, like, we're actually doing the things that we said we were going to do. But, y'all. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know what's funny is that I can control your. I just realized I can control your camera from my oh, iPad. Yeah, we did. 
I know. I can't. What can I say? Okay, I gotta try to fix my tripod too. Oh wait, let's do. Let's try this, guys. I'm so sorry if I'm making you seasick. Well, I'm kind of making you seasick too. You're not but the only one. I have no so. Idea. This is what I have never done alive because I have like uh, Wilma Flintstone stuff. Do you do? Whoa! All right, no fighting dogs. I can't see. There we go. There we go. Okay. Hold it like this. Move, Vega. All right. So, um, last night I sat here. Um, <laughs> I'm going to leave the stream for a minute. Why? So I can set something up here. Okay. Fine. So, last night, um, I sat here going through my bag of uh, beads that I love, trying to come up with something to make. Several things to make because, like, we're going to be here for a minute. <laughs> and I couldn't really, I don't really have a plan in mind, but I have these beautiful beads that, um, that Danielle sent me. And I want to make, I think I want to make a pair of earrings. So, Danielle sent me these amazing lamp work beads. And... I think I want to make some earrings. The problem is, is that I don't know. These lamp work beads tend to be on the heavy side. How do you guys feel about having lamp work beads as um, earrings? Because I feel like they're a little heavy, just a little heavy. So I'm like, well, maybe I would do better as a pendant. Listen, stop getting in the trash can, please. Vega's over here looking for scraps in the trash can. And I also want to find two where the birds are pretty similar. Because, like, they're all a little different, right? Those two look good. So she sent me a bunch, and... Oh, my God, they're gorgeous. I know, they're so pretty. And I haven't done anything with them yet, so I feel like... What about those two? I think I'll use those two. Okay. Do you think they'll make good earrings? They're a little heavy, but I think that they'll, I think that they'll be good. So <clears throat> I was digging around. I got, I pulled out a lot of things from my favorites. So we can make these earrings. We can make some other things too. I need, what I need is some red Bye. Are you ever coming back, Colleen? Yeah, I'm the that looks pretty good. That looks good. Yes, it looks very good. <laughs> Let's see. I have small lampwork bead earrings. Depends on what is added to the weight, says Maria. So that's what I'm thinking. Like maybe some bicones because bicones usually don't weigh a whole lot. But what I need is like some sort of accent. So I want to bring in some red here and then maybe some black. I don't know. Lynn says, hey, question. I've been piddling trying to send stars in Facebook. Doing something wrong. The help feature is not really helping. Any suggestions? So unfortunately, I don't know how to do it either. I just got it set up last night. Um, and I've never used it before. I'm not really sure how to use it. If there's anybody out there who knows... Can somebody, can somebody help? Because I'm not sure how it works either, honestly. I'm not sure what color red. That's more of like a pink. Oh, I got to add Colleen back here. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, I don't mind. <laughs> so, Colleen, talk to us. You can't just sit over there and be quiet. Yeah. You got to talk to us. So, I just want to point out the level of my uh, craziness. Look at all these tools I brought. <laughs> I'm in Charlotte Lovecraft's house, okay? Like, she don't have every one of these plus seven. Right. I'm like, oh, like this. Come on. <laughs> I just brought scissors and a ruler. Oh. Yeah, because I don't have, apparently I don't have scissors and a ruler or a bazillion of those little well, bead trays. I also wanted to show the, guy, the, the, the folks this because some of you guys are looking for these and you don't know what the package looks like. So these are in the dollar store in the party appetizer. Uh, appetizer. <laughs> Party appetizers? Orange divorce. <laughs> in the orange divorce section. <laughs> That's what they would get 12 of them for a dollar. What? I know. And I like, I have an insane stack of them. Yeah. I, I use them for everything. I have some of the, um, 
some of the ones that are shaped like this too i don't like oh. them nearly as much but you can really fill them up oh, with yeah. beads <laughs> bead like, yeah you can put a little bit of everything in those sure. okay, guys. I'm sorry. is that good does that look good guys what am i making i'm reading comments you've got to have comments i don't like what that you can't see the comments in? well here so what i was thinking was what if you sign in with my phone what is it? oh you're gonna have to give me special digits <laughs> military clearance so what if you military clearance comes oh i'm sorry but i mean what if you watch from my phone via like youtube or oh, something that's a good idea you are so not only beautiful but also so smart you're so funny you know, I'm really serious, man. You know, there now you can see at least you can see the youtube comments you might not be able to see the facebook comments but um does this look like it's supposed to look like like am i supposed to have all this or because i can't barely see well, so no, because it no all this like on my skirt. I don't want to make you all of this. that. I don't know why it looks like it's that. It's because it's in my cell phone. What if you turn it? Like, is there a make, well, way to make it like cool? I don't know. Oh well, let's not play around. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can go full on your mat no, though. Let's, let's, oh no, don't do that, please. No. Why? why? See, Some like, Lord, watch. Keep me little. Oh no! Now I'm just messing with things. Oh, I'm making okay. Right. I mean, you never know. All right. Oh, so, let me read what the people are saying. Hey, <laughs> she people. Says, I want to see what the people are saying. What's up, you YouTube fam? It's are so two. weird because, oh, I can comment from you. Are you an admin on YouTube? I don't know. I Let's guess. Probably. I mean, it's my YouTube channel. I probably can I comment. Friends. I don't know. <laughs> my friends are. Our friends. I'm sorry. It's all about me. So what are you guys doing out there this weekend? What what happened? I'm Sarah Love. <gasps> Look at <What>? you! <laughs> she gets to be me. There's Kathy. Hey, Kyle. Like she she knew this was gonna be. <laughs> she needs to be here. That's what I told her yesterday. She's supposed to be here too. I said that she didn't want to listen. Okay, so that red's okay, but like I think I have a darker red that might be better. Hey, is Jennifer Miller here? I saw her a little while ago. Listen. <laughs> Jennifer, you're in trouble. Now, now I have no excuses. <laughs> What's the matter? What's going on? Because I, Jennifer is an amazing designer, and I would be so honored. She she had asked if I would do a live, and I was so honored. We were going to put together some of your maker mixes. Yeah. But you know the anxiety and whatnot, and I was just always mm -hmm. telling her my anxiety, and mm -hmm. now here I am, so now I have no excuses. You're right. You're right. So, Jennifer, let's get it together. <laughs> let's get it together Pretty day. let's do it okay so this red is a little deeper judy says she's beating with sam's below the waves oh, oh. guys guess what i brought I <gasps> jennifer lee jennifer lee is wire wrapping gemstone pumpkins and making cauldrons for fall i want to work on fall stuff does it does Oh, hello, Aruba. Yavon, you're so tropical. <laughs> you're so tropical. You're so tropical. You're so where I want to be. Same. Okay. See, these are a little bit darker. I feel like that might be better. I don't know. I know it's hard to tell on the bead mat. It's... Mmm. Sam's Waltz of the Flowers. Does Colleen like tools? <laughs> They're uh, asking because, like, your bead mat is covered. Oh, I'm, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> you guys have no She's idea. She's got a tool. Got, like, two totes of tools that I could just freely grab. I know. Well, what's funny is that she has a little, one of those acrylic tool holders. Oh, she I has do. one oh, that has God. tools on it that she picked out that are her tools. Oh, I forgot. Let me get it. And yet she still brought more tools with her. I did. I have all the tools. Yeah, I'm gonna start a swear jar on me. Yes. No. <laughs> Somebody's gonna get rich. Look at all this is my this is my office tools. Yeah. Yeah, you know, whatever. <laughs> but she needed to bring more. Because you never know. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> 
Okay. Oh, well, I guess I should probably put away what I had out, right? I see that. This is what I do. Marina says world. you never have enough tools. The dark red dolls on camera. I know. It's not quite as red, but it it really is more red. the red that's in. Christy, Colleen, it's not going to make itself. <laughs> You're getting called out, friend. You are my people. <laughs> not though she's right she's right well let's get it together all right <laughs> get it together get it together Colleen. come on let's see, let's see <laughs> let's place for all these tools shall we i need some black i need some black bicones now, i don't know if i have any you want me to look? no because they would be over here i think maybe all the shenanigans are gone it's just us now it's just us now. It's, just us now. it's <laughs> not just us now. There's 305 people oh, here with us. Did you really have to say that? Yeah, yeah I did. Oh, <laughs> I'm pretty impressed, actually. For a Saturday. Colleen's like, she's seen the pop charts. Don't tell me. I told her not to tell me what played because I wanted to smell it and see if I could guess. Listen. I'm so strange. It's the most classic. It, I didn't ask for a hint. Is that Jerry? Nope. Is that blueberry? No. You stink at this game. What is that? I've never said strawberry. It's strawberry. <laughs> is strawberry pop tarts okay? Oh my god. I mean, because I can make you get pop tarts on his way home if you need. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> oh lord, you're making me cough like an old man. Look, it's got sprinkles on it. So pretty. Like, it. Will you stop? No. I mean, I do prefer the brown cinnamon and sugar, but. I remember that. In the old office, remember I kept pop tarts for you on top of the refrigerator. Yeah. So I told the folks, I've, I've been on a diet. So I messaged Sarah yesterday because I know I was coming today. And I said, Do you have pop tarts? <laughs> she did. I'm so over salad. <laughs> I don't blame you. Oh my you need a salad burn. I'm so good. All right. I got to find some head pins. All right. I got some head pins. So I bought some stuff. Look at my crimps. I have to taste crimps. Something is wrong with me. <laughs> I think it's wonderful. <laughs> it's really not right. <laughs> I'm still trying to find black bicones, y'all. Look at my Sam Speed box. Do you have any? Oh, I found some. Oh, look, bonus. Ooh la la. You know what I bonus? Oh. I have bargain bee box in here, too. <gasps> nice. Oh, but my black bicones are smaller than my, are they? Well, that's me. No, I think they're the same. I can't tell. I think they're the same size. Ooh, look how pretty those are. Nice. Let's see them. Okay, so I'm thinking about doing a little cluster. Maybe. I don't know. That feels kind of feels kind of blah. Where's that little earring that I showed you? I don't know. Let's just start and see what happens. Colleen, mm -hmm. it's not going to make itself. <laughs> Listen, look how pretty these are. Oh la la. I want to use those. Maybe not with this, but dang, those are pretty. My light's not so great. Colleen's box of beating heaven, says Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, what you guys don't know, because I'm such a weirdo. Is I put all these extra stuff in here. Anything that I think I kind of go through my stash and whatever I feel like is going to match the theme, I kind of throw it in the box. Well, I was so inspired by this theme and I wanted to make so much jewelry that I went a little overboard with my stash. You I basically put together five bead boxes for myself. <laughs> <laughs> so you have no idea. It's a lot of beads. It's it is a lot, a lot of beads. It's like a, a whole pound probably. Yeah, but. But it's all that I like options. Yeah. And it's not that Sam doesn't provide the wonderful beads, but but you I just get really these. inspired, and that's exciting. Exactly, exactly. And, and probably out of all these, I might use five. <laughs> <laughs> I get a little excited. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Colleen is stalling, says um, Facebook user. <laughs> yeah, Facebook user, you and I are going to have some beef. <laughs> It's so funny because Colleen, when she got here, she was so nervous. 
And I was like, listen, no, it's all the same people we hang out with all the time. There's nothing to be nervous about. She's like, does your stomach hurt before you do these? No, I used to though, but she's a pro now. I'm, I'm something. I'm, I'm, I'm doing sure. some pro stuff now. Check this out. I'm gonna make this toggle clasp into an earring post. Ooh la la. Yeah. So it's kind of far away from your bead mat, though. What is it? Yeah. I don't know how to zoom. How do I, can you zoom me in? No, you have to just manually zoom push in. your camera. <laughs> I'm really like asking a lot in this whole <laughs> I'm sorry. Cindy says she usually starts with a bazillion options. Exactly. It's yeah. good to have options. I mean, I usually lay out the box first on my tray. I put, I have a tray and I put, I put, put a bunch of cups and I fill the cups and I try to work, you know, do that. But then sometimes it's nice to have a filler. Yeah. Well, some extra to make your piece different than everybody else's because we all get the same beads. So let's make it your own. Right. It's gonna have to. I don't. Maybe if I do this, can I expand it this way? What? Oh, look! I can see it bigger for myself. <laughs> I can see what I'm doing now. That's awesome. Would how'd you do that? Can you see it now? Can I see what? Does it look bigger? No. It's bigger for you. It doesn't look bigger for you. No. Well, listen. Just get over <laughs> it. Okay? You're just gonna have to hold things up. My hands aren't exactly real attractive anyway. So. Oh, come on. You want to see my fingernails up close at the moment. It's just like a hot mess over here. Nobody cares. So that's why I asked you yesterday. I texted you what color you did your nails. Because I was thinking about doing like a tealish and silver. Yeah. But um, I, I remember you saying you're probably going to go with the green. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I better not. It looks good from a distance. Up it's close, so not so much because my cuticles are like really dry. Every time I go get my nails done, it's it's like it tortures my cuticles. Yeah. That's a beautiful color. Thank you. I mean, you? I love, oh. Talk to me and make something. <laughs> I you, love the hot pink too, but. I do too, but I needed a little something different because I got to change it up a little bit. Dremel. I brought out fancy stuff. Oh, she's got her Dremel, y'all. It's about what? to get serious. <laughs> Hi, Wanda. Wanda. Why am I still hearing myself? I don't know. You've got the volume on somewhere. Is it an echo, people? Is it terrible? No. Or at least I don't think so. Question on YouTube. What's the question? What's the question? Um, I have flush and semi-flush cutters. What's the difference and when should they be used? I love your question. So what bar is in front of you? Oh. let me let me cut this. <laughs> TP, all my love. Oh, let's do some more. Is this going to be too loud? No. I didn't even put this on. I, like I brought it like I was going to be some professional. Now I'm like, wait, where's the button? You, you, you don't even know how to use your Dremel? <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Do I have a a semi flush cutter over here. I think I I think this one's semi flush. Okay. <clears throat> so let's talk about it. Let me make sure this one is semi flush. I can't even tell. Yep. Okay. So it's hard to see. So if you cut with a semi flush cutter, I don't know if the camera is going to focus that well. Nope. Well, poo. Okay, let me find a thicker gauge wire so that I can show this to you because it's better to see it. Hey, is Nicole here? Uh, I don't know. Nicole, if you're here, can you share this to my Facebook if you don't mind? Because I told <laughs> Wayne I would so he could check in on me. No, he'll see you eating Pop-Tarts. Are you? Oh, sugar. <laughs> Y'all, don't say nothing about the pop tarts. Listen, I swear to you all the secrecy. Do you have a cutter over there that's not? Um, yeah, see that black and white stripe one? This on the end. This on the end. On the end. On the end. Oh, yeah. This one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a cutter. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. It looked like pliers from my view. I think this is a. Um, Wait, was that a... on my tool rack? I stole that. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Look, I stole them all. Oh, that's a flush cutter. That's what well, I'll be dipped in garlic oh, butter. Man. Okay, well, but here, this side is not. Okay, so here's a good example. Okay, so again, I don't know if you can see that or not, but you see how when you cut with a semi-flush cutter, see how it is? It is flush in the sense that it's got a smooth edge, but it comes up to a point, right? 
and you can see clearly with that. Okay, so this is a good cutter to use when it makes no difference what you're going to do with the cut. In other words, um, if you're going to like wire wrap, you're going to do a wrap loop, something like that, where you're not, you don't need that piece of wire to sit up against something else, then a semi-flush cutter is fine, right? It's just your standard every single day cutter. However, the flush cutter is going to cut just like it says, it's going to cut flush, meaning it's going to give you a straight across non-pointed flush flat end. Now, why is this important? It's important for a couple of things. Number one, if you are going to use your wire to, hold on, let me grab something to make a loop with here. If you're going to, Nicole is here. Nicole, could you share this to my Facebook? If you can, if Sarah doesn't mind. Oh, I don't care. Why Just would so, I care? Because, you know, my people, I don't think they really think I know what I'm doing. <laughs> your people like your family no people? yeah like that's what i'm talking about like my, my my family they don't know what you do no i don't think they know they don't i don't think they think that i know what i'm doing oh <laughs> it's because they know you crazy yeah no i think they think i just you know sit in my room and go like this and stuff gets put together well, we'll talk about that here in a second because i gotta i we can we can talk about that i think people i think other people understand well, I have to myself. so okay so when you cut with a flush cutter, right, and say you need to make something where you've got two pieces of wire that are going to meet or your wire is going to meet another piece of wire, it's nice to have a flush cut so that it can sit this. I didn't get this one really close, but it can sit nicely up against the surface of something else, whether it is your wire, whether it is, you know, a component or something like that. You've got a flush in that's going to sit flush up against something, right? If you've got a pointed end on it, you cut it with a flush cutter, it's going to sit on that point. And what happens is when you put things like jump rings up against the point, there's less resistance against that jump ring. And all that jump ring has to do is clear that tiny little point where with a flush cut, it's got to clear the entire surface area of your wire, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? It does. I hope it does. So another reason why you might want to cut with a flush cutter is if you wanted to make your own... Um, what are they called? Um, not rivets. Oh, is it rivets? So, so if you wanted to, I guess it is rivets where you want to, you want to cut your, your wire flush, right? And then you want to splay the end of your wire with a hammer to make it spread out to attach it. It's just a form of cold connection, right? Essentially what you're doing is you're, you're splaying the end of the wire with a hammer to create like the top of like what would be the equivalent of the top of a head pin. So doing something like that, you have to start with a flush cut of your wire, which is something that we don't ever do. Like we've not ever done any of those kinds of projects, but you can take your wire and you can splay the end of it to create, um, you know, a, a, a flat head on it if you need to use it to make a cold connection. So, um, yeah, there is a difference in the cutters and there's a difference between like these cutters versus these guys. So, so not only is there a difference between the kind of cut that you're going to get, but what they're, what they can cut. These are my heavy duty cutters. I use these to cut my thicker gauge wires. Anything that is 18 gauges or thicker, I specifically grab these, right? Whereas with these and my blue handled flush cutters, I cut everything up to 18 gauges and including the 18 gauge wire. But anything that's thicker than your 18 gauge wire, I don't use these for because it will destroy the blade on these. And if you guys have been with me for a while, you know I'm really, really hard on tools. So it's important that you not only select the correct, the right kind of cut for your project, but the, the correct cutter itself based on what the blade can handle. Because these, these cutters are expensive and you want them to last as long as they possibly can. So, and there you go. Hope that was good information for y'all. And I hope that it made sense. So let's go back to what um, Colleen was talking about. <laughs> so, Col yeah, we, we must. I think we need to address this because um, 
first of all, it's just a point of conversation, but I feel like everybody in our, um, in our community can probably not, maybe not everybody, but some of, of them can identify with this where your family doesn't know what it is that you do. <laughs> and I've struggled with this whole thing in a, a lifetime ago where, um, my, my people who are no longer my people, but were my people at the time, they didn't think what I did was a real career. Like it wasn't a real job. And that like what I was doing was I was just sitting in here, you know, playing with wire and throwing beads yeah. around and it wasn't anything to take seriously. Yeah. Um, and they had no idea like the, um, the, the large vastness of this industry <laughs> and all of the things that it, um, what falls into the industry's categories and jewelry making and like all the different facets and that there is in fact a place for people who teach um, and instruct and that designers can be standalone people who make their money. I mean, obviously because I support myself, right? Like I own a house, I own a oh, car, yeah. I have a pool, I yeah. have all the things, yeah. you know? So clearly I can make money at it enough to take care of myself. But for the longest time it was a struggle with the people who were my family because yeah. they didn't understand like what I was doing. They literally thought that I was in here just like, you know, making, I don't know, bracelets with plastic beads and, you know, um, and didn't realize that it was a, a actual business an actual art form an actual something. So, yeah, I don't know if anybody else out there can identify with that, but um, I think that, Think that there are probably some of you that do struggle with that whose families just don't get it you know or your friends they just don't get it <clears throat> so the point is you're not alone you're not alone you are not okay i can't oh, i can't yeah let's see we can't let's facebook see. will ban us i was like i thought we we needed we need music but here's the thing facebook will turn oh, yeah. us off well, because <laughs> I don't think you can. Excuse me. Not that I don't oh, think you can. So I think sad. I don't think you can. I think there's a copyright issue with Facebook if you sing here too. But <laughs> <laughs> neither can I. So I, I mean, try. listen, if that's what the people want, I'll do it. If Let's that's what the comments. people want, <laughs> what do the folks want? Carmen says, "I totally understand you." My mom also said that what I do is not a job. Yep. Yeah, I, I oh. suffered with that for a while where I just wasn't taken seriously. But, you know, jokes on them because here I am with my own home and my own, all my things. You know what I mean? Like, I, I can take care of myself. <laughs> Even if they didn't think I could do it, I did it. Now, that's not to say I don't work my booty off, but exactly. Sherry says some people think it's a cute little hobby. Exactly. Yeah, this is totally not a hobby. This is like, this is what pays my bills and keeps my lights on. And I don't know what I want to do here. I feel like this is turning into like the most boring pair of earrings in the history of earrings. And I'm not feeling it. I wish I had another one of these, but I don't. I only have the one. Colleen, what are you doing? I'm typing to Miss Cecilia. Oh. Because she was asking if I um, was, yeah, I was roughing up the um, post with the Dremel. Uh, I had done, done the small ones, and I already did the um, this part at home. I roughened, because I was going to do this project at home, so, you know, but that's exactly what I was doing. This way, the glue has something like to stick. <gasps> oh, that's smart. Yeah. Pro tip. Pro tip. Pro tip. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just for whatever it's for. It's not just for whatever it's for. What? I didn't, listen, <laughs> I never had a Dremel before jewelry making. I didn't know. I was like, what do I need a Dremel for? I'm not a man. Hey, oh. I have a drill press. And oh, I've oh, not ever God. even used it, but I got it for jewelry making and it just sits out there in the shed. But I've got a drill press. Anybody need something to, for me to press? I mean, it doesn't have to be something <laughs> or it can be someone. Someone? Someone? Asking for a friend. <laughs> Do we, do we need to, <laughs> do, for me, heavens no, <laughs> oh, heavens no. so we're just going to wait till they dry, but 
So mm -hmm. I'm gonna, my theory is to use this uh, and bring some beads down here to meet up with this charm. And just be a little cute, right? A little cute, a little cute, cute. Cause Lord knows I have enough toggles. I really didn't need them as toggles. Oh, I love this. So I started learning how to make jewelry for fun and everyone doesn't understand why for me selling it is not important. I wear all of the stuff and I didn't go into it as a side hustle or anything. I just love beads. Listen, Kathy can totally relate to this. So Kathy doesn't sell any of her jewelry. And Kathy is one of those people who is like, ridiculously talented in like 7 billion things. Oh okay. She can literally do anything. Oh she was an actress. She can sew. She, she can, can quilt. Oh, she can quilt. She can make the most gorgeous jewelry you've ever seen. Like she literally can do anything and she doesn't sell any of her jewelry at all. And people are like that. They're like always saying to her, why don't you send it to, you know, why don't you start a craft booth or a website or, and she's like, no, that's not why she does it. She does it because she loves it. You yeah. know, look, Kathy, Kathy <laughs> says, LOL blushing. Hey, I'm not saying anything that isn't true. You are one of the most talented human beings I have like, ever met in my I, entire I, life. So. I wish I could put up that square that she shared with us yesterday, the triangles. Oh what my she's gosh. doing, the Kaleidio. I don't even know how yeah, to say it. I know. It's just gorgeous. It's she's amazing. amazing. She's incredible. Listen, when you can't say the name of the project, you know that's <laughs> that is a level wizard one. <laughs> she is a wizard. She's a wizard. Now, now what do we do? <laughs> what are you doing over there? Your mat's well, wait empty. The, I know. I'm waiting for the glue to completely dry. Can I help you? And they who wants my pop tart? Shh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not eating anything. What are you eating? Vega wants my vegan oat bran muffin with kale and special flaxseed. Exactly. That's what she wants. Okay. She I'm out. trying to find some jump rings. Hey, do you need any of these posts? I don't need them now that I've opened them up. I'm just, I want with the littles. The little yeah, we'll just put them to this. Um, you mean like flat back posts? Yeah, yeah. Do, you, do you need any? I'm just kidding. I don't know what to do. You don't know what to do with them? You don't have to save them for another okay. project? <laughs> She's trying to give me things. I have, I have a whole bunch of them that I didn't ask for. <laughs> you did not. Well, yeah. then how did you get them? I ordered something off of Amazon. Uh, I believe it was like clasps and jump rings or something. And they sent me that. And then they sent me this whole big giant thing full of earring posts in all different sizes. Yeah. Earring nuts, earring backs, and a bunch of jump rings. And the thing was like this big. Ooh. I've got earring posts for like three like. I'm going to need you to send me the link to that. I'm going to need to just give you the whole thing. <laughs> Why? I don't really use it much. It's nice to have in your arsenal, but friend says I give mine to charity so they can raise money, habitat, schools, etc. I love that. Aww, I love you. that. Yeah, that's awesome. Rose flower beads for the earrings. Ooh la mm. la. I like that idea. RJR on, on YouTube. I make jewelry to help with my anxiety. That's exactly how I got into it. And it, and it works. Yeah. Can you do one from my oat muffin? <laughs> Vega. Vega. No, ma'am. She's not sharing with you. And you don't get to eat people food anyway. Don't try to convince her that you do. That's my protein powder bar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to see if in the camera it's so funny because she keeps putting her nose under here. Let's see if you can see it. You uh, Wanda, you are so right. Wanda <laughs> says, your son making money with the streaming of his gaming is entrepreneurial. Entrepreneurial. Um, but you making money making jewelry is a cute little hobby. Such misogyny. I agree with that 100%. 100%. Because you know what's funny is the same people that treated me the same people that treated me that way about um, my hobby uh, treat him like, you know, he's, he's most definitely, it's exactly what you say. He's an entrepreneur and, you know, it's definitely just, it's not quite fair, but you know what, whatever. Those are not my people anymore. So I don't care. I see you have a friend over there. Two I friends. Too. Two friends. They're just stopping by. <laughs> this is the good cat people. <laughs> so nice cat. The Cora, that's the Cora, the Cora kitty. Can you not eat my? Ears? She's trying to get over there to her window, and I got stuff over there. Okay, let that's me okay. No, you don't have to. Don't no, move your I'm, stuff just for her. I'm gonna close it so she can sit atop. Atop. She can. <laughs> she can nestle atop. 
<laughs> Christy said, well, Colleen, you made a cat. <laughs> I did. And it's the prettiest cat ever. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad somebody appreciates my work. It's like a jungle in here, y'all. I'm in my element. I have five cats at home, people, so this is nothing. <laughs> I I can barely work with two cats in here. I don't know how you do that with five because, like, they're all over the place oh my God, in here. When I, when I go in my office, they're everywhere. I usually have three on my chair somehow. And one on the side of the desk and then one behind me and then the dog at my feet. Oh, she wanted my straw. That's okay, but I don't love it. I can't even see what you're doing anymore because I'm all about me over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't see anything I'm doing. That's I weird. I know, because I can't see anything I'm doing when it's that far away. <laughs> oh, well, I'm making some, I'm making some, maybe right, some guys. earrings. I don't know. Oh, I, I created myself something too, which might be cool to play with. Um, guys, I'm gonna give you choices. What should Call do? I don't know. I'm gonna give you guys choices. I'm I'm not I'm not feeling this cluster. Should the cluster be all one color? Because I'm thinking, like, what if what if I did a black cluster, just black on the bottom, and then put a red bead on the top? I know I've got some black, some bigger bicones here. Let's see. Those are bigger. I think that's too big, though, to make a cluster. I don't know. I mean, if all else falls, I can turn it into a pendant. Right? Because, I mean... Somebody said, and all I see for their name is Facebook user. Facebook user says, I was thinking black. Right? That's what I was thinking, too. Maybe black would be better. We'll see. Let's see. I mean, <laughs> it's kind of on the fly, and that's what we're, that's kind of what we're doing. It's all about, friend. Yeah, that's what we're doing, so it's I cool. hope you guys are making beautiful things. Gloria says she loves the heart beads with the birds. I do, too. They're so pretty. So I was going to show you guys, so I know Mother's Day was like a million years ago, but I ordered my mom something from this artist um, overseas <laughs> and it just got here and I was going to show it to you guys, but I'm afraid my mom is watching. Mom, if you're watching, turn around. <laughs> I see you. Friend says make the cluster simpler. The lamp work is so interesting. You know, you might be right about that too. So let's, let me look at it with the big black cluster and then maybe I'll dumb it down a little bit to a smaller, like a three bead cluster. Cause that's kind of pretty too. Okay. Somebody's grumpy. Who's grumpy? It's probably because I keep hitting the camera. Why are you grumpy? Like this is seriously, like we told y'all in advance, this is super casual. Just kind of hang out and chill. Don't be grumpy. Don't be grumpy. All right. I'll be right back. Colleen, oh my I'm, god, does that mean I'm in charge? You're in charge. I'm horrified. Colleen's in charge. Oh my god, what happened? Where am I at? What'd you do? What? You're still there. Do you see no. it? No. You don't see it anymore? No. I do on your phone. But I don't on my screen. Oh, okay. there, that's because I, okay. I got but, it. Is it okay? Yeah. Look. Yeah. Is that okay? Hi. Colleen's in charge for a minute. I'll be right back. Okay. I only can see the comments on youtube so facebook i'm so sorry the cat is playing with my cup what is going on out there hi becky hi nicole jay mill sharon miller what is up hello cindy miss wanda Shira, are you here? All right, guys. So what I was thinking was maybe making a little something from Sam's Bee Boxes. I've been dying to jump into this, and I unfortunately have not had a chance. So I'm going to lay it out. And like I said, I also brought a couple little extra stashy beads that I thought might go along with this, um, with this theme. 
And to answer the age-old question, I also brought my Capri Blue beads because I thought that some of them might go. I don't know. Capri. Well, that's what I say. But Capri is also beautiful. Capri sounds like a lovely island in the Mediterranean. Sounds like somewhere I want to be right now. Okay. Look at all these gorgeous jimmies. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. So much flash. The fish were jealous. They were like, no, no, come see us. Look at those. What? Honestly, I have not seen Labradorite this pretty in a long time. And the last time I saw it this pretty was also from Sam. So Sam's definitely got the uh, pulse on Labradorite. That's for sure. Look at these. These make me happy. <clears throat> And I know he didn't do it on purpose. I love how this box kind of looks like the Little Mermaid. Oh my God, I'm like so in love. Look at those. Look at those. Amazing. I don't know how he does it. Him and Rachel, every, every month, they do it. Let me see, you guys. Uh, Sam's Bead Box subscriber. You got any suggestions? What have you guys been making? I want to do one of those challenges where I do all earrings and stuff, but I, I got a small attention span. What's up, Karen? Oh, it is an island. See, Jan, I knew I could count on you for the answer. So are you, oh, okay. Here, no, you're good. Have the people heard me? Or am I talking to myself? <laughs> Thank you. Have the people heard me? Yes, Princess Colleen, the people have heard you speak. <laughs> oh, we, were, we were talking about because you know there's that debate Capri versus Capri and I said I like Capri because Capri That's Leviosa not Leviosa yeah, but Capri Leviosa. reminds me of an island like in Tahiti or somewhere nice and somebody said this actually is an island so I was pretty good with that yeah the island of Capri okay well no it's Capri 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 is the island Capri is the color oh my word I feel like it's probably Listen. not right. Tomato, tomato. I say what I see. <laughs> Look. What did you do? So this is what I got my mom for Mother's Day. Oh my god. Oh, that's beautiful. So the way that they do it is they paint layers and then a little Can layer of resin. Yeah, and then they paint another oh. layer and then and it looks oh, three dimensional, wow. but it's really not. That's amazing. Mom is gonna love that. She loves little things. So I'm going to show you guys yeah. what I got mom. And she's so artistic. She's going to love it. Okay. So my mom collects tiny things. And so this is an, a nut, right? And when you open it up, it has a koi fish in it and a flower. And the way that this is done, it looks three dimensional, but it's actually paint and it's painted on layers of resin. Like a layer of resin goes down and they paint a layer and then another layer of resin and then they paint another layer and then another layer of resin. And it makes it look like the fish is actually three dimensional. It's in there. I love it. And so is the flower. So I've been waiting for a while for it to get here. But yeah, so this is my mama's. I thought it was super cool. I really liked it. There were other ones. She had done these in shells and in bowls and things, but I liked the, I liked it in the nutshell the best. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah, that's my mama's little present and look, it comes in a little box. So that's my mama's present. I hope she doesn't see this. <laughs> Mom, if you're watching, sorry. Surprises. I, I told her to look away. <laughs> look away, mama. Look away. So anyway, there you go. <laughs> All right. It looks like it's going to rain. Is this supposed to rain today, Cole? Um, probably. I mean, it's Tennessee. It's Eastern Tennessee. It's probably, <laughs> it's likely. probably going to rain. Bro. Probably going to rain. Yeah, it was an Etsy find. It was. It was on Etsy. Um, there are a lot to choose from, but you have to be careful because some of them are mass produced. And then there are others that are, you can tell are from actual individual artists. And so I was really careful to make sure that I picked one from like a real, a real person, you know, I didn't want to get, oh, I was about to make a wrap. So do you look crooked? No, but you're not making anything. Over there. Stuff together in my mind. <laughs> She's creating in her mind. It's just not coming out of her fingertips yet. 
this is why I don't do this. <laughs> This is a lot of pressure, huh? It's so much pressure. I'd rather just talk and run my mouth. That's kind of the way I feel too. But <laughs> who the heck wants to listen to you and I talk for three hours? Um, I don't. <laughs> I would. I would. Remember the night you spent the night? We talked for hours. Oh, that was the best night. Can we do it again? Yes, we can. It was so much fun. It was so much fun. I'm just pulling out some stuff that I might want to put together. Is the heart bird bead from Sam's? It's not. Um, these hearts. So Danielle ordered these for me. Um, she, I can't remember the name of the place that she orders her lamp work beads from, but the place that she gets lamp work from has the most amazing selection of lamp work. And she ordered a ton for her and for I both. Um, and I'm not real sure where they came from, to be honest with you. But she sent me a bunch. I've got those. I've got some big ones that are, I'll show them to you here in a minute. I've got some rectangles. Um, I have some different hearts. I think I've got like some pillow shaped squares. They're kind of puffy. These are so cute. Yeah, definitely ask Danielle. Is, I, it's not a secret. <laughs> it's, it's not a secret. I just don't remember what the name of the company was. But they have a really wonderful selection. Oh, Patricia. She said we got a call from our daughter's boyfriend this morning asking permission to propose. Oh, congratulations. Oh, that's wonderful. That's awesome. Hey, Colleen. Yeah, babe. Don't forget your, you've got a mission. Remember your mission? I think so. Just one I have now. Your your Fourth of July question, remember? Um, Do you no, remember? No, but we can discuss it. Okay. Um, <laughs> that reminded me of something. I, I think I know. I think I know, but I'm not. Well, when Q comes back, you were supposed to. You're supposed to ask him something. Come on, pass me. Pass me. Pass you a note. Pass me a sticky note. Like we're in school. Pass it. Well, people are having heart attacks. I'm cutting these friends. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I didn't mean to do wrapped loops on those, but I just couldn't stop myself. So now I'm, I'm kind of second guessing my entire existence at this moment in time. So I think I'm going to do a small cluster like was mentioned. Let's see how that looks. Danielle is the best. I love Danielle. She's such a sweet person. Okay, now the issue is, is that this bead's got a large hole. So I need to find... A little something, something, a little bead cap or something that I can, can fix. You know, honestly, need... Cooper, get a job. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I'm doing. <laughs> it takes a while sometimes, people. It takes a while. Um, Put those off to the side. Where's my box of bean caps? Where's your train station? My time station? Yeah. We need a time station. We need a time station. There she go. Beat a line in the house, y'all. Grab these. Use Sarah's affiliate code. That one got all the parts. I don't know. Well, I have several. Sometimes they're missing the PC parts. So. Um, I think that one has a whole Yeah, no, it looks good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not there to drop the link, but I'm, I'm here. <laughs> I wonder if this one will work. We need like voice command like drops. I know. Drop beetle on link now. <laughs> That's not going to fit. That's our Titan station. At least I don't think. No. Okay. What's that about? We need something smaller. Put some seed beads or a bugle bead in. That would help for sure. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I got one of these. This is fun. Let's see how, let's see how excited you are. <laughs> I 
I feel like I'm in a bead store and I'm like shoplifting. I'm just going through all the containers. What am I going to take? Poo. <laughs> the world is your oyster in this room. All the things. Use all the things. Anything you can find. Oh, there's one. Hold oh. on. Check on my bag of bead caps, y'all. <laughs> I need to sort these like in the worst way. But... There's one in the bottom that I saw. <laughs> There's one that I thought had the right size opening. And now I've lost it. Oh, there's one that's kind of an interesting shape. Oh, Zena, I'm sorry. Eh, oh, man, eh, no. Okay. Not going to work. Let's see. Dump some of these out and see. That's better. That's kind of what I'm going for. So, what about this one? Nope. So far, this is the winner. Nope. Looks like this is going to be the one. I don't particularly care for the design on that, but it looks like that's going to be, that one would work too. I think I like that one better because it's smaller. Oh, thank you, Lynn, for using a super sticker. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, I want everybody to know. Um, that any of the super stickers or stars that get donated today, or if you happen to drop something in our, um, our tip jar, that all of that today gets split with Colleen, just oh, so yeah. you know. We didn't talk about that. Well, we don't have to talk about it because I'm the boss, so. <laughs> oh, my God, Cooper, I'm sorry. Well, I can't argue that, but I might argue you later. <laughs> no, no arguing. I'm older. Uh, so, you know, that means something. That doesn't mean squat. Yes, it does. My mother used to use that on me all the time. Well, I'm older, so I'm going to use it. That's not fair. We'll see. Maybe you can take me to get my nails done before vacation. Ooh la la. I would I love to. I'll you if you wanted to go. Yes, of course. Yeah, of course. I mean, you don't have to take me. You can go together. Yeah. Can we do our feet? Well, listen. Oh, you don't want to get your feet done? It's not that I don't. It's that I'm like, um. You're self-conscious of your feet? I'm podiatic. Your podiatric uh, challenge. Oh my gosh. I, think that's a, I don't know if that's a word. I don't think so. I think you're just making stuff up over there, but I understand what you're trying to say. Podiatry? That is not a word. <laughs> oh, Tam B from Minnesota. Thank you so much for using the super stickers. Y'all are awesome. They are awesome, man. People are on it. I know. Maria says, come to. to I'm, I, is that Illinois for short? I'm not sure. I will do your nails and feet. It was still an offer, and I love you that. You know, I need someone <laughs> to do my hair. <laughs> you need someone to do your hair? You got to get your hair did. I'm going to tell you why. Why? Because I haven't had my hair done in a really long time. It's been so long, my husband cut it last time. I know that's frightening, but it happened. <laughs> and I survived, <laughs> so it's okay. <laughs> My husband has never been to any kind of hairdressing school, by the way. Anyway. Listen, I think when we're like digging around, we should we should be on the other camera so people can see us. Let's see. That's what I'm doing. I'm picking out seed beads, taking my girl. Yeah, so here. See, she's wandering around doing things. But um I need headpins, so oh yeah. Well let me get out of your way. <laughs> I'm just looking for some gates. Exactly you know what? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> It's a dog here. I didn't trip over myself from my bedroom. <laughs> okay. So anyway. We need more than one camera in this room, so like people can choose their angle. I think it's the same, they're the same kind, right? They the same match, right? Just if one's opaque and one's whatever. Okay. Yes, but they're the same, 100%. I like yes. it. I like it. <laughs> Look at this palette I'm putting together. Super tropical, super purple and blue. Ooh, you pulled out some Eslon, which I love. What uh, you going to do over there? Something. Something, 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 something. I don't know what. I'm actually making a bracelet <laughs> for my uh, my son's girlfriend. That's what I've decided. 
Oh, I like it. I like it. I don't George myself. So anyway, I was telling my story. Yeah, go ahead. Oh. Oh, why Zena? Hi. <laughs> okay. So, Just sidetracked. Yeah, so we go to this place because they used to be at her place, right? And I listen, I don't want nothing against like hair cutter and all that, but I've got listen, people, I've got some serious hair. <laughs> It's not to play with. You do have a lot of hair. And so I was like, well, I at least want to, listen, I'm not bougie, but I didn't want to go to like anything with clips in it or like sports clips. What, you know? Jennifer sent a super sticker. Thank you. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank you. <I> so, anyway. <laughs> okay. So, this is such a long story. Let me condense it. Um, so I went to get my eyebrows done at this place when I first moved here because I, I like getting my eyebrows waxed. I find it cathartic. <laughs> I'm weird. So I weird. You, I told you this, you know. <laughs> so anyway, so I said to Wayne, I'm like, I want to get my eyebrows done before this live because I was really in like Wookiee status. It was not good. So he said, okay, sure. I didn't mean, I don't want anybody to like mistake me for, you know, whatever. So Bigfoot. And so... And he said, oh, remember that place I went to and they did hair because I've been looking for a um, segue and a place to get my hair done before my vacation because I have vacation coming up. I probably should have mentioned that in the beginning, but now you know. So we went there and I said, perfect, because we'll go in there, we'll get the eyebrows done and we'll talk to the people and be like about my hair, look at me some prices. You know, I want it cut and I want to go a little blonde because I want to be, you know, I lost 130 pounds. Let's do something. So we go in there and they got bought. It is now just an Asian nail place, but they do do eyebrows, but they don't do hair. What do I want to do? Well, we're going to have to find you a place that does hair. This is crazy. You know, so I'm going to have to go to sports clips. I know. And I'm going to come out with like a buzz and <laughs> it's going to be awkward because Wayne said I'm not allowed to go short. Please don't go short. Really? You have the most beautiful hair ever. Well, do not see, go short. It's thinning right here. I'm showing the people. How many thousand people? Look, my hairline is thousand. thinning. <laughs> Wish there were thousands of people. And so I have to get that taken care of. So I figured if I went a little blonder, you wouldn't see it as much. That's just my theory. I could be wrong. <laughs> she does need more camera time. Listen, these people love you. I don't know why. I'm on like anyway. she's hilarious. Where I'm telling you. She's she's, she's amazing. Oh, this is a good angle. Look how skinny I got. What? Okay, anyway. Um was that one? <laughs> did the people see that? Could you please? Can I what are you doing? Ew. You. <laughs> Showing, I'm showing you off. At least my butt's covered by the chair. <laughs> Where's the picture in your wire? Well, wait, hold on. You're looking in the wrong place. Am I? Oh, no, I found it. No, 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 no. Listen, that's kit bead stringy wire. That's not the same. From the kits. I'm no, sorry, you guys. don't want to take from the kits. You want to take from the good, good. Oh, good, that's good. the spa That's the extra special. That's all I like. Is this sterling silver? I'm not one. No, it's not, it's not extra. I mean, it's not sterling silver. It looks like you had hundred feet. Well, yeah. I mean, I do. I you do. do a, well, you do some jewelry sometimes. Occasionally. <laughs> Occasionally, I make some things. I, apparently, we do a lot of talking, but um, I like the talking. I do too. <laughs> oh, can I? Since I'm on the good camera, good. You can't see my face. Can you see my earrings? Yes, ma'am. Pauline Colditz. Pauline, I'm so sorry if I get your name wrong. She made those for me. That's awesome. I love them so much. I just wanted to give her a quick shouty. Regina says you should do stand up. I should. That's actually my life long dream. I know. Didn't you do like a, a stand up, like a, like a. I mean, in my living room, yes, many times, but. But didn't you date a guy once upon a time? I did. Chris Hay, shout out if this is streaming in my Facebook, though. My husband didn't hear that. Shout Nobody out. can see you. Sh shout out to Chris Hayes. I don't want them to see me. <laughs> listen. You know, I, I do I, want them I'll to sleep. see you. Listen, listen, let's do this. What, what, can we see it together? No. Where am I? I don't know where you are. I mean, I know I lost weight, but. Why is it just me? Come back in here. <laughs> what? I don't... <laughs> this is awkward. Personal space. What? <laughs> so. <laughs> so anyway. Oh my god. Do you have this in a uh, 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 point two four? Do you have this in a point two four? Are you a little picky, aren't you? No, because I want to make the balls, and I don't know if the balls make on the on the point eight one eight. Listen, I'm um, what size? I don't know. Which, I'll try the balls on here. No, wait, no, because I got more. I got no, more. I'm gonna make balls with my. Uh, listen, I'm gonna break the law. Is Beetle watching? 
Um, I'm maybe. Meredith, don't listen to what I'm about to say. What size do you need? One? I don't know. What do you There's point two, two okay, four. We'll try that one. Is that the one you were looking for? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Cool. No, it's not. You're just saying that. No, it's really the one I wanted. You're not gonna see it anyway. What are you gonna do with I'm it? I'm gonna do a Sarah Love. There is nobody on the screen right now. Who gets this live? This is why people are leaving. Where are they? What's going on? Okay. Janet, thank you for using Super Stickers. Yay! Yay! Woo! Now everybody else's 10 stickers are like, wow. Okay, Janet. Thank you. All right. I see where this is. You make me old man laugh because I get all like. <laughs> okay. Listen. What is that? I don't know. It's not Pop Tart. Don't say that. They can't even see us. I just threw this carrot up into we ate earlier. Oh, my God. I can see that. Before they know what I look like now. <laughs> we need an alert. Oh, look, Albert. Aww. Hi, okay. Albie. Like Can him. you just say hi? Let's just say hi, baby. <laughs> That's not. It's getting a little too personal. I swear, this is far as Dig it out. And Cooper. Oh. Zena, come here. <laughs> Zena's here too, but. <laughs> Rochelle says Pop Tart confetti. <laughs> That's my boy right there. That's Cooper. Oh. I'll be standing on my hair. <laughs> don't stand on my hair. It's okay. I don't mind Cooper. Okay. All right. So, what were we talking about? I don't know. I was making something. You were. Now you're not. <laughs> I'm interested to see what you're going to do over there on the time. Oh, so I was going to do um, just something <laughs> simple because I'm nervous as heck. <laughs> so I'm just going to do a simple Sarah Lovecraft macrame bracelet with the... um. What's a Sarah Lovecraft? You Who's know, because you're the one telling me how to do it. So it's, oh my God. So it's, the dog just trying to lift me out of the chair. <laughs> Excuse it's me. Just, I mean, everything I've learned is a Sarah Lovecraft. And because that's you, I learned it from. Well, that just makes me feel all types of warm and fuzzy. I made Wayne cry in the car. I probably shouldn't say that because he's probably watching. Shh. No, I didn't. I was just kidding. What'd you do? What are we doing? I don't know, but now I can see you. So tell us, tell us. Come in. How did you make Quinn cry? Uh, so I told him <laughs> that he, cause, okay, listen, I can't really, I don't want really to go into the whole story, but cause I said he was my hero and he said, no, I said Eric Bass was my hero. Okay. This is where Shinedown comes in. Cause I'm Sh Shinedown, whatever he plays in Shinedown. And so, cause my friend's going to meet him mm -hmm. and Wayne's like, oh, he's just <laughs> an, or an ordinary person. I said, no, he's not. He's a hero. He's a hero like you because you saved my life. I said, because my music, my oh. husband, and my family are what saves my life. Every single day keeps me on this earth. Yeah. And I said all that. And I said, so you are a hero. Oh, not all heroes wear capes. And the man started crying. Oh, shut up. I swear to God, because he said no one's ever said that to him before. Oh. And that made me really sad that no one's ever loved my husband that much. I mean, I know that sounds weird. No. But it's just, it's sad that he had to, because we've only been married. We've been together a couple of six years. Yeah. And the fact that he went through all of this life, not ever hearing kind words like that really broke my heart. I get that. Do you know what I mean? Because we're not I young. Know, we're, totally. we're not young. I my husband, that. my husband's that. in his 50s, okay? We're not young people. And the fact that he went through almost 50 years of not hearing words like that. Oh, I love that. Made me a little sad. So anyway, but he cried, but it was happy tears. So that was my story. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Now we gotta get. Now we gotta break Q down. Yeah, I've only seen him cry like once, and it was just a teeny, teeny bit. And it's when he talks about his grandma. But <gasps> other than that, he's he's fairly stoic in his um, emotions. Now I've seen him laugh so hard he cries. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. But I'm a crier, man. He dropped. Oh, me too. Drop the hat, and I'll cry. It doesn't matter what it is. Oh it my could God. be a Kleenex commercial, oh, and I cry. Me you know? too, for sure. I cry a lot, probably more than that. But crying is okay because it cleanses the soul. And you need to cleanse your soul every so often so then your soul is open for new things. Right. So I saw this thing on TikTok last night. Look, the, the people cannot see us. Well, that's, you're in charge of this. Look at my station. It's desolate. There we go. Okay. okay. So, yeah, your station is just sitting over there unattended. So I saw this thing on TikTok yesterday. Um, I follow this um, this psychologist. 
and she's like really a psychologist. She's not like a I'm just a play a psychologist on TikTok yeah, yeah, kind yeah. of thing. She's for real. Um, and she was talking about how like screaming, like screaming to a pillow or go outside and scream mm-hmm. or whatever, like physically resets your body. Yeah. And so it's like crying, like sometimes like an extra hard cry or yeah. a deep, deep belly laugh. For sure. Like physically resets your body. Yeah. And, and we just reset like, our body. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> but, but like it's important so that's what I was trying to say was like it's important like the crying because like it yeah, you sure. know you gotta sometimes you just gotta mm-hmm. you know and that's the only way to do it so there's no shame <clears throat> usually you do feel better after if you think about it you feel better after a good cry right you always just kind of feel you might feel a little uh, drained but you just feel no like, I always, I always feel lighter like, I don't. I feel like butt. Do you really? I do because it gives me a sinus headache. Aww. I walk around like a zombie. It's like, like I have to really be prepared in advance to do a big cry because I know yeah. that I'm gonna feel like crap for the next ten hours. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I usually feel lighter, but that's just me. <laughs> well, I don't. I don't know that I, I ever mean, noticed. I don't mean like a big, like earth-shattering, heartbreaking. Oh my god, my soul is in the toilet. Cry, but your general, like you know. <laughs> Your soul is in the toilet cry. I've yeah. got a lot of those. Your general watching General Hospital, in my case, cry. <laughs> um, you know. I'm going to have a snack. Ooh. Oh, no, that current muffin is so filling. We have not done a single thing, and we've been on air now for an Five hour and a half. people are here. Is that saying 200 and so, 300 and something? 327 people. What are y'all watching? <laughs> <laughs> They're watching us just be silly. Oh my god, I love this support. Look at my glasses, they're fogged up. Oh my god, Tana has a crying time playlist. Listen, <laughs> I can get behind that too. Hell yeah. I watch a lot of 2020 and then I get sad afterwards and have a bad night and cry. It's kind of like, like, because I don't like to hear about bad stuff in the world. I'm such a bleeding heart. Like, I'm just, whatever. Yeah, I have to be really careful about what I watch when it comes to real world stuff. Yeah, but. but like, I, I haven't watched the actual news in probably two years. Oh, well, I don't watch news either. I don't know last time I watched I news. But um, I love crime. Like, I love kind of crime documentaries. But at the same time, by the time it's over, I'm usually like, oh, my God, the victims. I'm like, why did I watch this now? I'm so sad. Same. Yeah, but I have to watch with it. How much of it I take in because I'm kind of like I retain it. They're watching us because <laughs> we're super entertaining. Oh, Carmen! Hey, Carmen! I know Carmen. Carmen, don't you have a live later? Is there, are you the same Carmen? I'm sorry if you're not. <laughs> Carmen, Jennifer, and Danielle have a live tonight. I believe at seven. Six or seven Eastern. I don't know. Go over on Danielle's and find it. <laughs> I might be there if I get home in time. We're watching the Sarah and Colleen laugh in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Should we tell them about Monday? Because I have no idea what I'm doing. You're going to need to tell them about Monday. Yeah. So we have a show coming out on Monday. A new live coming out on uh, the Straighten Your Crown group. I'm not here to. I'm not there to put links in there. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> so if you enjoyed this, you, you could come back on Monday and get another dose. I'm it's just going to be me, though, unless you want to, if you want to um, be alive, we can do it together, but I don't have StreamYard. Oh, but it's just straighten your crown, right? Listen, I don't think about these things. <laughs> Wilma Flintstone, Wilma Flintstone. Yeah, Jennifer, that is the same Carmen. You guys are amazing together. The three of you are going to have so much fun. They're unboxing, uh, uh, Danielle put a kit together from John Bead. Ooh. Yeah, and they're going to unbox that over there on Danielle's. Go ahead and check that out. Yeah. <laughs> Annie, I hear you. I don't so much get nightmares. I just, I get really sad and then I can't sleep because it's in my mind. Because then I start replacing victims with like, oh my God, what if that happened to my son? Or what if that was my husband? And then I just. Yeah, I do that too. And I, I go down the whole rabbit hole and yep. I can't do it. I do that too. And <laughs> Jennifer. Yes, my shell. Well, I don't know. I don't know if it's busted completely, but it's got a crack. Lunch break. <laughs> Oh. Jen says, what are you snacking on? I'm having baked delays. I have Wendy's from earlier. Yeah, I'm jealous. Well, do you want to get my burger? No. I've got nuggets. They're cold, but no. I wasn't feeling good. Just like I said, I've been on a diet. My husband's like, listen, you need to eat. I'm going to go to Wendy's. I think he's secretly trying to keep me fat, but he got me a biggie bag, so it's not that much food. But I got stuffed on the fries. Hey, 
Will you have me my phone? Yeah, where's that? Oh, on my desk. <laughs> you sure you don't want half my burger? I'm not going to eat a burger. That's rude. Why would I do that? I got to see if Pew's texted. Oh, yeah. I forgot. It's going to eat a nugget here. I'm going to read comments. No, but my son has. Oh, my. Mm, Philip. Oh, yeah. Did somebody say something about a tour? It's what? not my room, so I can't offer a tour, but that's up to Sarah, but I wouldn't mind it. Um, Yeah, you can do a tour. It's literally what you see. This room is, like, this big. <laughs> it's literally this big. But, um, yeah, and you guys have to see the dogs, and maybe we'll tour the backyard, and you can see the pool. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because like, I haven't, them out here in a I haven't seen the pool yet. I mean, I've seen it from outside. Well, I mean, because it's outside, but I haven't, like, been in the vicinity. You made it sound like it was an indoor pool. You know, my baby. Someday it will be. Listen, Fancy I'm not that bougie. Chalet. My mom told me last night that I needed to make enough money to hire somebody to cook for me. <laughs> I was like, yeah, in another lifetime, Mom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm checking Q's location. I'm eating chicken nuggets in front of 500 people. Because I'm that kind of girlfriend. I'm eating chicken nuggets in front of 500 people. It's surreal. What? Not... Lorena, don't leave us. Don't go. Yo, who needs to break? Don't break. You're going to leave us to break in a vacuum cleaner? Don't go vacuum. The vacuum will be there later. My lady. <laughs> my lady, it's Saturday. <laughs> the vacuum can wait, my friend. No, but just kidding. <laughs> he said it was expensive. -er. <laughs> he said, look at what I bought. It was expensive. Beer. Wow. That's know. your son. He's a weirdo. He's we got to get our sons together. I think they would be best friends. I think they probably would. Mm -hmm. I mean, because Phillip's just like a, he's just like a really tall version of me. Yeah. He's amazing. I love Philip. I love Philip since the first day I met him. Everybody does. I fell in love with Philip. I said, you're my son too. Because I'm out here in Tennessee and my son is all the way back in Pennsylvania. So I got to steal somebody's kid. There's enough for him to go around. He's like 10 feet tall. Sarah, are you a Gemini? I know the answer to that. Mm -mm. I'm a Cancer. Oh, she got, so she got, uh, what did she say? She asked if I was a Cancer. I am not. I am a Taurus. But I'm on the last day. My birthday is May 20th, so I'm on the cusp between Taurus and Gemini. So she got us kind of right, just backwards. Yep. Good job. Good How job. old are y'all's babies? Which babies? I only have like one. Like our, our kid babies? So mine Donna. are... <laughs> is he 21 or 22? What are you asking me for? I think he's 22. <laughs> what year was he born in? I can tell you. A one. Yeah. He'll be 20. When is his birthday? December 20. He'll be 22 December this year. 12. He'll be 20 this year. It's He'll December. 20. He'll be what now? He'll be 22 this year. Okay. So my oldest is 21. My middle child is 20, and my youngest is 13. Yeah. My son is uh, 20. He'll be 23 this year. You know what's funny? Yeah. Philip is December 12th, and Frankie, that's my son, is December 15th. Oh. But Frankie's 2000, and so they're a year apart, almost exactly a year apart. That's awesome. Yeah, and they're so similar. It's amazing. Orange chicken sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Mama J vacuumed earlier. <gasps> so she can sit and watch, watch us eat chicken nuggets. Sean says, Sean Smith says, Sarah, I see the Kakashi Katake phone case. You're, I love you. Who are you? <laughs> Kakashi my hero. That's amazing that they knew that. I know not everybody does. So sure when does. I, when I meet other people, you not seen the rest of this room? Let me show you the rest of this room. Yeah, let's take a tour. Okay. How can you take a tour with that thing? So what I'm gonna do you is take a tour with my phone. I'm gonna attach. Oh, I could use your phone, couldn't I? Yeah, you could if you wanted. I mean, not like there's anything going on over there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna grab Colleen's phone. It's a little weird though, so you're not gonna be able to see comments. That's the only thing. Oh, that is weird. Yes. So what if I add... Maybe add your phone so you can see comments. Look at me. I'm making people sick. Or I could just use the iPad. Guys, I got to show you this picture. Oh, look how pretty. So that sits right in front of my desk. I'm going to read it. 
says, you are not a, just a dog. You are my sanity. You are my happiness. You are my teacher. You are my therapist and my best friend. I'm going to cry now. <laughs> and dog says, I know I'm just a dog, but if you feel sad, I'll be your smile. If you cry, I'll be your comfort. And if someone breaks your heart, oh, what does it say? We can use mine. We to can live. use mine to live. I'll always be by your side. Oh, I know. I <laughs> you know. It gives you the warmth and some, some. Yeah. Oh, come That's because I love my doggos. Yeah. I love my doggos. Sarah's gonna kill me for that one. <laughs> it's yeah. okay. It's just. It's my baby. That's my baby. Zena down there. How I got doing? lots of them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, these are all the babies. Okay, so right. let me undo okay, the let me, let me undo the iPad so I can continue to see comments. Okay, get down, Vega. Let me put my phone back over on the Vega no, on the no workstation. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. But you see what I've got going on here, right? <clears throat> you see what we're doing? I will come back and finish those earrings, y'all. Yeah, I'll come back and maybe do it. Oh, oh. Okay, so I'm gonna flip you around to the back camera. Okay, so listen, this room is a mess. It is also very, very tiny. But I will give you the little, the little. Bit. So Colleen showed you my big, my dog picture. I um, have my notes for my Master Maker show, so I can see those. They're just taped to the wall because I mean, you know, I'm not bougie. <laughs> um, I keep this picture over here. Can you see the comments? Um, I can't if I. Oh, gotcha. Okay, hold on. Let's make this bigger. Hold on. Let's make. Let's. Can I make this bigger? What's happening here? See, I made it. I don't know. There we go. Okay. So. You guys can see. Sorry. I was trying to adjust the camera. So that is a picture of me once upon a time. This is my motivation picture. So that's a picture of me in the dressing room when I worked at JTV as a show host. And it is a constant reminder of me to me of where I've been and where I can go. And, you know, everybody's got to have a little bit of motivation. But that was that's mine. I think that's the most beautiful picture. <laughs> Thank you. Because you're so happy in that picture. I know. I was. All right. So this is my desk with all of its mess on it right there's my robot sitting over there and then there's even more mess listen i'm messy y'all i can't help it there's all my drawers there are my pop figures there's my naruto stuff um let's see so there's my dog that stole something out of the trash. The floor is completely covered in dog hair, but you know what? I don't care because I love my dogs and that's okay. Trust um, me, this office is clean regularly. <laughs> it's just, you know, dog shed. The dogs do shed. So this is the, the thing I use um, when I do my Master Maker show. Back here for those of you guys who know anime. Hold on. Maybe it's be better if I come from another, another side. So if you happen to know anime... So this is my, you can't even see it, can you? No, you can't. What am I even looking at? Why does it look like that? Oh, there we go. It's, it's <laughs> so there's my Itachi. Um, there's my Naruto calendar. And then this is the closet where things go to die. <laughs> Not really. It's just jam-packed all the way to the roof, you guys. I need to get in there. And so look at this this room is so small that like I have to use the closet as well. You can see there's ribbons and there's wire, lots and lots of wire. Um, there's my giveaway boxes, all kinds of stuff, and, like literally from floor to ceiling. Okay. All right, so there's Colleen. That's where she packs the Etsy orders when she's doing that. This desk over here is Colleen and Q's desk. And over there in the corner next to the window is where I take my pictures because I use the sunlight to do that. So um, I usually have to ask somebody to scooch over for me. 
There's the TV. Um, those are Q's uh, one piece pictures. And this is his mess of a desk, but it's got Colleen stuff on it. Um, okay, that's all my crap. <laughs> Except the Pop Tarts. I don't know where that came from. And then we have a bookshelf with all the things. We do have an extra chair in here so that there can be three people in this room. But quite honestly, that's all that will fit. <laughs> and then I have my floor to ceiling shelves that have this guys is what kits come from. So everything you see here is what I use for kits. So the beads are organized by color. You can see red, blue, clear, clear AB, purple, more blue, yellow. And then I have my bead string and wires that are separated by strands. So there's like 19 strand there down here. There's some leather cord USA, high grade suede scraps. 49 strand, seven strand. So I try to keep everything as organized as I possibly can. This has my silk cords in it. Um, there are gemstone boxes. So I basically just use those shoe box totes for everything that is kit related. So everything that's not kit related is what you see here. So like, that's just my personal stash, right? That's just my personal stash stuff. And then over here, what you see in those little containers over there, that's more personal stash. Um, like uh, most of my crystals are in those. And then most of the findings that are in that, I don't use most, I don't use any of those for kits either. That's just really just kind of personal stash stuff. Um, I have my cart here, my rolly cart with all my stuff on it. So this is my tiny little studio room that I share with Q and I share with Colleen. And um, if you guys want to go outside real quick, I'll take the dogs out. <laughs> I'll take the dogs out and we can go out on the porch for a second. Then we will come back. Right? We're just having a little intermission. All right. Okay. <laughs> Hush, Cooper. So when you go out of this room, if you turn this direction, my bedroom is back there. That's my hallway that leads to my bedroom. This is the hallway that leads to Cooper. Hush. How do you open it? Okay, here I got you. Oh, I got it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Freedom. All right. So that's where all the magic happens. <laughs> All right, this is my little house. Well, listen, my house is like teeny beeny. But this is my live or my living room and my dining room, right? I'll show you. Yes, I always have them. Okay, I gotta show them my pictures and meet you for ourselves. So here's my smolder wall. <laughs> it's me, and Q. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Okay. So anyway, there's my kitty cat. There's my curio cabinet with my weird stuff in it. My little living room. <laughs> All right, this is where we're going though. So, so they say that you should make your house feel like a vacation. Right? Your house should feel like you're on vacation all the time. So that's what I do. I try to make my house, cause like it's little, it's a tiny little house. But I do have a nice big porch. So here's my porch with my hanging plants and my hammock, um, my table, and my umbrella, and all my plants. Right? And then there's my pool. I'm not bougie, it's just an above ground, but you know what? It does the job. <laughs> Oh, thank you. It is very homey. It oh is very God. homey. Are you kidding me right now? What? Come on. That's my llama. I love it. <laughs> I have a unicorn too. <laughs> Oh, Heather says, what does Q do? Q works for a moving company. He's all muscle. I'm ready for the pool. You ready for the pool? Hey, can I do the rest of the live like this? <laughs> yeah, go right ahead. I got a little basketball goal. And so I have part of my yard is fenced in, but I actually own all the way down there. So it's part of the reason that we bought this property is because it's a lot of property. 
And I don't know if you can see or not, but there's a mountain back there. So I really do live in the mountains. If you can look between um, those trees back there, that's the mountain. So when you go to the end of my road, it's a huge mountain range that's like right there. So I'm nice and far away from everything. There's only one other house on my road. So there's never any traffic, which is nice. Um, let's see, can I show you or what else can I show you? So let's see. So yeah, there's my little house. It's like being on vacation all the time. That's the way I want it to feel. That's the dog's pool. Um, and yes, I need to trim my shrubs, but you know what? <laughs> so over here, no dogs, stay. So over this way, first of all, I have a pirate flag because it's not blowing in the wind, but there's my little pirate flag because, you know, I do what I want. <laughs> But over here on this side of the house is where the hot tub is because people always ask me about this the hot tub so that room right there so that's another porch that's my bedroom those are my bedroom doors right there and there's the hot tub so i can go out of my bedroom into the into the hot tub yeah so just my little home just my little house that's q's car not mine and we live in the mountains so that right there has our trash cans in it well i mean i have other trash cans too but you have to have bear proof trash cans <laughs> you gotta have bear proof trash cans to live out here and there's my don't read my sign that has bad words on it but there's my other pirate flag so yeah i know we're weird my mom doesn't understand she does not understand the pirate flags but that's okay it's okay where are my doggos <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank you guys it's not, i i like it out here so i used to live i don't know some of you have been with me for a really really long time so some of you know but i used to live in like we called it the mcmansion because it was in a house in a neighborhood where the houses were right up next to each other and there's call. <laughs> the houses were right up next to each other and there were these great big huge houses that wanted to be mansions, you know, and it was okay, but this is so much better <laughs> because I got all this land. I got, you know, little house that doesn't, I don't have to do major things to take care of. I mean, you know, I pay somebody else to mow and my property goes way back that way too, but it's nice because I'm out here and I don't have to worry about neighbors and it is, it's cozy. So yeah, I got to share it with you guys. That's awesome. I love it. Say something, Colleen. Hi. <laughs> so you got to see how, how I live here. It's your butt wet? Yes, it is. <gasps> My it's gosh. It's an air conditioner. <laughs> but yeah, this is my little retreat out here away from everybody i mean i have neighbors but they stay away from us for the most part and let us do and we let them do and it's nice right it's nice thanks if it weren't for the rain they wouldn't <laughs> all right let's go back to the office everybody use the bathrooms everybody good come on doggos i you should have asked me before you sat down <laughs> don't let the kitty out yeah Come on, Vega. Let's go, baby. Look at this. Look at this little brat. Vega, come on. Let's go. <laughs> Zena, you coming in, baby? Zena likes to stay outside. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's get some actual work done. <laughs> come on. That's Greta. She's hateful. Sort of. She's pretty, but she's a grouchy little thing. Here's Cora. She's much nicer. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Back to the office. 
thank you. It's little. I mean, I'm not, I'm not bougie, you know? Oh, sorry, baby. Uh-oh. Lost everybody. There we go. All right. I'm going to put you guys back on the, on the tripod now. Okay. I don't know where Colleen went. <laughs> she disappeared. <laughs> Turn you back around. <laughs> There we are. Okay. So there you go. You got the little tour of my little tiny office and my little house. Donna says, I think we're going to downsize this summer. I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's a huge adjustment. Cause I went from a really big, huge house. Like it was, it was a humongous house, but moving to this house Everybody, it just feels more homey. Like, I liked the big house. That's great. Whatever. It was part of my past. Um, but there's something to be said for big houses being kind of airy and open and too much space between, yeah, too much space. You know what I mean? It was really hard to take care of. And I always felt like me and my kids were a million miles away from each other. Yeah. That was a big house. And so in this house... Everybody's really close. Like literally my son's room is just right across the hall. And, you know, he's right there. Anytime I need him when my daughter's here, she's just right down the hallway. Everybody's really close. I can hear everything. And it's easier to take care of. It's much easier to keep clean. And I'm so much more comfortable. And it's mine. You know what I mean? Like yep. it's not a mansion, but it's mine. And that's that's saying something, especially when you guys re realize where I came from. You know, like the the other life that I used to have to get to this point is pretty, you know, it's. And who did that? Who made that happen? I did. You did. <laughs> I did. Even when I thought I couldn't, I did. Yeah, absolutely. I did. I've never had a doubt. <laughs> Ever. I'm glad you didn't have a doubt. Cause I did. I remember I was really afraid that like I was going to end up in a shelter and like, mm -hmm. I, you know, I was going to lose everything. And, oh, baby. you know, I ended up here and it's, I don't think your community would have let that happen to you. I don't think so either. I don't think so either. It was a drama McMansion. It was just not, it was not a good place to be. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and I, I don't have the best of everything, but what I have is mine. It belongs to me. I worked really hard for it and I'm really proud of it. So Absolutely. listen, my carpet might have stains on it and I might have dog hair everywhere, but it belongs to me and everybody that comes here feels the love. So amen. <laughs> amen. Sister Luck, <laughs> <laughs> um terry said you met q he was part of your moving team yep mm -hmm. he was mm -hmm. and you know what's funny about that is that we um we uh i don't know if y'all remember but up to the point where i was packing my office and everything i was like gonna have what was it a refrigerator shaped gentleman yes, yes, that's what it was. Yep. <laughs> I kept joking about a refrigerator shaped gentleman, you know, was going to sweep me off my feet and everything. And who knew? Who I mean, knew? Like I was speaking that into existence. It's just, yeah. it's crazy because I was only joking. I wasn't yeah. really even in a place to be looking for something. Like I didn't think I was ready. Yeah. You know, I didn't. And so the move took three days and he wasn't there. He wasn't there the first two days. The rest of the crew was there, and then he was there on the third day, which was the actual move from the big house to this house. And he, so he helped me and my daughter pack up some stuff. That's kind of like the first initial, like, conversations that we have. But they were just like, you know, hand me the tape and, you know, is this yeah. box big enough? That kind of thing. Yes, tacos. So, um the moving crew got the truck stuck in the front yard. Okay. It had been raining and the truck got stuck and it was taking them forever to get the truck out of the yard. And the moving crew was huge. So we're like 12 people here. And I had the dogs on the leashes and I had taken them out in the yard and I was watching them try to get the, the truck unstuck. And I had, at that time I only had Cooper and Albert. And so I had both dogs on leashes and 
they were just not really behaving themselves. They were like trying to get to where the moving crew was and stuff. And they were just giving me a hard time. And Q came over and took one of the leashes from me. And, you know, he's standing there with my dog on a leash. And we're both just standing there watching the rest of the guys trying to move this truck. And he asked me if I wanted to go get tacos. And I, I almost said no, because I'd never, yeah, I've yeah, never yeah, been yeah. on a date before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never, like, you know, and, like, I don't know this guy. All I know is that he's really cute, and he's asking me to go get tacos, and I'm like, what do I say, yeah. you know? And so I said yes. So I gave him my number, and he texted me that same day, like, afterwards, when they had all left. He texted me. And um, he was like, well, do you want to go get tacos tonight? Oh. And I was like, well, I can't because, like, I can't even get out my front door because there are so many boxes everywhere. And I just, I can't. And so he was like, well, that's okay. What about, you know, what about a uh, night after tomorrow night? Mm -hmm. And I was like, yes. I guess, I guess so. <laughs> sure, yeah. Well. He lived, he lived in Knoxville, which is where I moved from to here, which is 40 minutes away. He must have really wanted those tacos because he drove all the way out here, picked me up and took me to the Mexican place that is in town here. And we sat at, the t at a table in the very, very back of the restaurant. And it was very secluded. And I don't know, it was really weird for me because I had not been on a date in like, I don't know, a million years. Over 20 for sure. Yeah. And so we're like just kind of chatting and stuff. And he, um, hey, 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 they hey. bring the food and they put the food out. And like, I'm going to pick up my fork. And he was like, no, no, wait. You know, and he reaches across the table and he grabs my hands. I'm going to cry. Oh, oh my God. It's a show of tears. Because y'all just don't know how much I love this man. Oh, my God. He he reached across the table and he took my hands and said grace over our food. And I was like, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. My heart just belongs to this person that I've literally known for just a few hours, you know. That's and that's all it took. And we've been inseparable pretty much ever since then. Like, we went through some ups and downs, like, in the beginning, just kind of trying to figure out how we were going to make the distance work because he lived in Knoxville at the time. And, you know, and he had an, he had a, um, he had an apartment and, you know, and he had a life and like, I'm just starting mine, you know? And like, so it, I wasn't sure there for a while if it was really going to work out, but like, I just... I had an, another night where he had come out here and he was getting ready to leave and he was standing at the door and like, in my heart, I was like, that's the man I'm supposed to be with. Yeah. You know? And I mean, I just, I, I heard it in my head and I felt it in my heart and it was just like, I'm going to do whatever it takes, you know? And so, yeah. Um, that's so beautiful. He, he officially moved in um, for Christmas so we spent our first Christmas together this past Christmas, and I am so fortunate to get to wake up next to him every morning. I mean, I just, <laughs> he's an amazing, amazing person. So, yeah, <laughs> I got to share all that with y'all. Thanks. <laughs> yep. So there you go. <laughs> I have never, I've not ever known love like I know from him, and his, his laughter fills my house, and it fills my heart, and it's just it's more amazing than I thought it could ever be. So, yeah. yeah. And you deserve every single second of it. Yeah. And when we go to the Mexican place, which we do about once a week, I always think about that night. Like every single time we go to the Mexican place, I think about that. So. You know what's funny? <laughs> Wayne and I have a Mexican place too. Do you? That's like our place. Is your Mexican place the one we went to too? Or is that a different one? It Remember? is. It is. Yeah. Wait, no, 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 no. You and I went to the one where we got, we got frozen margaritas, didn't we? I think we did. Yeah. It's a different one. It's a different one. That was a good one too. That is a good one. So, there you go, y'all. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Y'all made me cry today. Oh, you're so beautiful, though. <laughs> Look at you. I know. I know. I just want to hug you up, but let's get on. All right. So, we should probably actually make some jewelry instead of sitting here crying happy tears about silly things. We do jewelry all week long, man. <laughs> 
I know. I know. You want to make stuff that you want to make. And I think that's important. (laughs) Oh my goodness. Yeah. That's my guy. He's something. He is. (laughs) He's amazing. I know. And see, and that's the thing is like, my friends love him. Colleen loves him. Kathy loves him. Everybody who meets him, they love him. He's just like, he's just this amazing, amazing person that would yeah. literally do anything for anybody. And I don't know how I got that lucky. Like, because you know, some people when they go through a divorce and like, it's been a long time and they have to date 500 people. Yeah. And I was so afraid of that. I was afraid that like, I was going to have to date a bunch of frogs before I made it to a prince. Yeah. And like, how fortunate and lucky am I that like, he was literally, he literally helped to transition me into my new life and then became a part of it, right. you know? Yeah. And yeah. I just, I am so thankful every single day that, you know, even when he wakes up grumpy, I still get to like, he's still here. He's still here. And I get to be, I get to see him be grumpy in his morning breath and, you know, and when he gets frustrated with things and I, it's just, it's such a blessing. So it is definitely, and you're, <laughs> and you're both a blessing to each other. I think so. I think we both make each other better. Absolutely. You know, I think we really, we, we bring out the best in each other, which is awesome. So yeah, for sure. Oh, thank you for using the super stickers. You're so sweet. You guys are awesome. Brenda says, I knew I was going to marry my husband after our first date. When it's right, you know it. I know. I know. And I wasn't expecting it. I think that's what was kind of threw me off. Yeah. That I wasn't expecting, like, because we joked. Tell us this refrigerator shaped gentleman. I'm like, now he lives here. Yeah, he lives here. And he's a bit Kenmore shaped. (laughs) Kenmore Lee. It's a good one. Yeah. Pretty awesome. All right. Well, let's, let's bring in Colleen's camera again. Hold on. How do we do that? Exit solo layout. There's Colleen's speed mat. She's blowing her vape smoke all over the place. I'm so sorry. (laughs) Turn you back around to my. my Don't roll over your toes. I'm going to. Okay, here, you're going to need this back so you can see the comments. What's in this box? Here you go. Oh, if you guys don't know, I just randomly go through Sarah's stuff. <laughs> I'm okay with it. I don't even ask. I just I'm pick okay up a box. With it. What's in here? <laughs> Perks of the job. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Ooh, what's this? <laughs> Too funny. Oh my. All right. No more, no more crying. I don't know. I don't know. So you'll have to go back and show Q this, Colleen, because I don't think I could do it. (laughs) You'd be like, here, I'm going to show you what Sarah said about you today. Who I can save it for our 4th of July combo. Oh, yeah. Uh, You do that. Do I need to write it down for you? No. Do you remember? Yes, I remember. Okay. But I was going to say something I probably shouldn't have said just in case he's watching. So I'm just going to keep it inside. <laughs> he, no, he never watches. I'm going to keep he it does, he, doesn't, he doesn't watch. He's like, I don't, your you're, business is business. All right. So this is what we're doing. Gosh, you guys made me all snotty and everything. I'm over here like. <laughs> We've been married 50 this year. Brenda, wow, that's amazing. 50 years together? Yes. God bless you. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. Honestly. That's pretty, but I don't know. I mean, it's pretty, but it's not like it's not like wowing me pretty. I'm just not sure. I love mm. these school teams. These look cool. I need to finish eating this cookie you gave me. Yeah. Well, I wanted to share, you know, because it's caring. <laughs> and, I, and I really don't need to be eating two cookies. One is a, what is that, like triple stuffed? I know, right? Oh, like what? Goodness. I know. Those little Keebler elves, they know what they're doing. Mm, triple stuffed. Like my bullet. Okay, right. <laughs> Too much. So what I was thinking. So should I put any red with this at all? Or no. See, that just feels awkward to me. That's just not quite. I'm so used to a camera in front of my face like this. I'm like, what am I doing? (laughs) 
Besides looking like a noob. There's a tiny little red. That's better, right? That's better. You liked the red and the black beads best. So here's a cool thing. <laughs> I got so many of these, like I can do more than one. Maybe this is missing. Right? Let me find another. Let me get another bead cap. Listen, Vega, you're going to get out from underneath my feet, love. Let's see, it looks like that. I need to separate these out, but who has the time? Oh, it is missing. <laughs> That's what it, it is missing. This one's missing a plate. It is? Okay, I here, let me. Looked, I'm like, this looks different. Yeah, let me give you another one. It's all right. I got it. I no, just, no, no, here. Please, I just squeezed it down. And Listen, it's, it's literally right here. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, this is, look, it's, I have options. <laughs> Options. Like we're gonna have streamed for th for what three hours, and I've not even made a single pair of earrings. <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh oh, I just dropped a bunch of them in the floor. Are you guys enjoying this? Yeah. So, how do you guys feel about this whole Saturday stream thing? Oh, look how cute. Albert is. Oh, I can see my back. I know you're saying now. What? Wait, what's going on here? I'm watching something different. What are you watching? I'm watching this. Oh, you need to go out of that and come uh, back in. Uh, <laughs> isn't quite caught up yet. We'll need to refresh. I'm like, where is, look, is that? It was, Albert was on your lap. That's why I was like, oh, look how cute Albert is in the camera. And I'm like, wait, he's not even in the room. That's funny. Sorcery is this. Thank you, Cindy. Was I late on that one? Did you already see that? What? Because I didn't refresh Cindy with the super stickers. <laughs> Thank you, Cindy. Okay. Now, the problem is, is that I lost the top of this. There we go. Your junk. No, I don't care if you look at my junk. <laughs> I don't have anything to. I don't have anything to hide. <laughs> oh, I pulled up the wrong Colleen. That is not you. There can be only one. <laughs> that is correct. I'm just kidding. I love all the Colleens, especially the ones we all spell our names the same. Oh, Kathy, thank you for sharing. Okay. So, yeah, I think there's, I think there's a, definitely something to be said for both of these. Oh, I could have shared it to my Facebook by myself. Look at that. Who knew? Okay. But now the question is for the top, like, are we going to do another, another bead cap? on the top and then I'm trying to delete stuff on that's Facebook pretty from your phone. that's you're trying to delete stuff from your Facebook off of my phone yeah, that's, that's gonna good. be interesting because really um yeah <laughs> you're you're kind of logged in as me good luck with that <laughs> oh, I would imagine that <laughs> Too funny. I need another bead cap here. You got this fancy iPhone. What? That's not fancy. It's fancy. Mm, that's right. You're a non-iPhone user. It's Such a anything. weirdo. I know. It's not, <laughs> not have anything against them for you. Such a weirdo. I, just, I always stay intimidating. Oh, thank you, Rose. I really don't know about you need to know about stuff. Like technology. 
because iPhone, I feel like it's just a smarter phone. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, I mean, if it's a smarter phone, don't you got to be a smarter user? I don't trust myself with that knowledge. I don't know. I used to be an Android user forever, so it took me a while to get used to iPhones, but now I, I can't imagine using going back to Android. Yeah. I, I want to try maybe one time, but then I always get scared and go with Android. Well, it's definitely a, it's definitely a, an adjustment for sure. Because I feel like the I feel like the um, iPhones have better cameras. But I, I have a Samsung Galaxy, I think thirteen. So I have an older model. I believe they're like on seventy five now. Yeah. <laughs> seventy five. Whoa. Something like that. Come on, y'all. I know I've got at least one more. Oh, thank you, Diane. I do. Okay, cool. I appreciate you. So I had to much. dump out all of that just to find that little tiny. Somebody said bacon. I could use some bacon. Oh, I could always go for some. Bacon is always a good idea. Bacon and pearls. Pearls are always a good idea, and so is bacon. Yeah. I, they're in the same category as far as I would have to agree. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Debbie. This is just reading. I have fun with the comments. Oh, Debbie. We love it. I love spending time with Colleen and I wish that Kathy was here. I know yeah. we have fun with Nicole too, but I got to tell you when I get to spend time with Colleen, it's like being, it's like, it's like having, it's like, it's like having a sister, you oh, know, oh <laughs> it is. Cry. You're like, it. you're like my sister from another mister. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> In the soul. Yes. I'm an only child, so I love it. <laughs> Regina says bacon is meat candy. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> uh, well, I'm not really, because my sister passed away, but I, I mean, so I do kind of feel like an only child because, like, my sister's not physically here, so. Yeah. I, I can, I can agree with that. No, it's, it's okay because you, you are definitely. But she's with us in this room. Oh, my gosh, I don't of course. Ever doubt that. Oh, for sure. Yeah, and she would love you. She would think would that you were. Her. Yeah, she's she was. And she was younger. Yeah, she was younger. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, baby. Yeah, it's, she was. It's been a while. Yeah. I mean, you know, it still sucks, but. Oh, it's always gonna suck. <laughs> but I got good friends, so you, you know, it and makes... an amazing support community. Yeah. And just so many people that love you. Because you're amazing. Well, I don't feel particularly amazing, but I will take your word for it. Because yeah, sure. <laughs> everybody knows I'm right. <laughs> I think you're biased. You're not just a, biased. Not at all. <laughs> I just love you. Julie says, where can I get those hearts? I'm not sure. We've got to ask Danielle. Because Danielle's the one who got them, and I am not sure where she got them from. Can you figure out how to refresh it? Look, why are your stuff moving? Like why is my stuff emotion, like your little boxes were shaking, or was it me? They were like moving. They were like <laughs> <laughs> they do that occasionally. I'm not sure why. How do you? How do you like? You know, like on Android, you hit this and then you, and then it refreshes. Well, I don't know what you're asking me. I'm just making sure I'm on the right screen. Like this, like see. Still all right, so there's that one that's all black. I don't like the dangle on this one. I think I might like the dangle if it were fuller, maybe. <clears throat> I don't know. But I do think that that's very pretty. It's just, I don't know. Colleen, what do you think? Um, I didn't do that a text message, and I'm not trying to be in your business. Oh, my <laughs> God, that's gorgeous. Are you serious? That's beautiful. Are you sure? Oh. Okay. Oh, well, my God. We'll go with that one then. Yes. <laughs> Colleen likes that one the best. I love it. I did get text messages. He says, I'm almost back. Yay. Yay. I love Q. I really feel like I bl I'm blessed, too. And I'm so fortunate that I got, like, two new best friends in my life that are, like, family. Mm -hmm. Not just one. <laughs> because I've adopted Q as my own as well. Well, he definitely claims you for well, sure. Yes, he has to. I don't, I don't give him a choice. <laughs> He's amazing. He is pretty special. Oh, <laughs> Teresa. Thank you. 
Teresa is <clears throat> her husband and, and her are raising their seven month old grandson. Oh, yeah. And she didn't have time to herself, but since we're doing this today, her husband is watching them. Oh, watching the that's awesome. Thank you, Mr. Teresa. Yeah, that's awesome. And thank you, Teresa, for spending your day with us. Yeah, for sure. It's amazing. You that's could have done awesome. you could have done anything else in the whole world today, and you <laughs> wanted to come hang out with us. So that's amazing. That is pretty awesome. You guys rock. I, I know, know right? I feel like Belon trying to escape my desk. Because it's like, what are we doing, Carl? <laughs> are we doing Colleen I've been here for two and a half hours oh two God. hours I don't know I haven't made oh my God. anything like 40 minutes left. I know where the time go <laughs> the time is just like slipped oh, away I got distracted there were snacks I got distracted with some, some oat <laughs> I mean, I'll have to go get a drink here in a minute. Not a not a hard drink. A Coke, Coca-Cola drink. <laughs> Calm down, people. I'm minus the vodka. <laughs> I'm not much of a drinker, I so. There's none of my vitamin water. <laughs> I make no promises. <laughs> she makes no promises. That's too funny. All right, so let's see here. Going back to... Did I lose a bead? I did because it's up here on the top of that. So I'm going to have to make up for that. I'm going to have to fish for another bead. Make sure this is all even. There we go. And then I need one more of the black so that I've got tidy, righty, lefty, loosey. Get it together. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> what is happening over there? <laughs> <laughs> yes you can regina gina said regina says i'm not beating i'm making turkey pins for my craft booth for fall can i still post them with the facebook page with the hashtag yes you can Please. because we don't care what you're doing while you're hanging out with us we just want to see that's amazing that's awesome i love it post it all guys yes yes, yes. i mean keep it clean like i don't want to i mean i'm not saying i don't want to see it i mean you can send me to my personal Facebook. It's fine but we just try to keep it pg for the commune you know <laughs> Gosh. So that's what I did. Oh, you're busy. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. I want to see what you did. I put on my tying station. I got to put the beads on it. <gasps> look at that. Look at that. I bet you they said it in the comments, but I didn't see Would it. Would you look I at that? That's why I like calling the beads on it. <laughs> <laughs> Might want to load that up with something, you know. <laughs> hey, Danielle's here. Danielle, my love, where did you get these beautiful, beautiful beads? Everybody keeps asking, and I, I don't know what to tell them. <laughs> you said a bad word over there. I heard you. No, I didn't. I said <laughs> oh, I'm bad with the math. And what did I tell you before we started this? I said I'm super bad with bracelets. And what am I making? Gray slamp work. That's what Danielle said. Thank you, Danielle. Yeah, you're making a bracelet for your for my somebody for your daughter-in-law. Yes, someday, hopefully. Haley, are you watching? Cranky, get it together. <laughs> I want grandbaby someday. I'm not saying Russian, but I mean, you you want Russian grandbabies? Well, I, Russian gra I mean, I'm Polish, so I mean, we're kind of neighbors. Right? They're neighbors. <laughs> kind of. I'll take any grandbaby. Shout out to the grandparents out there, man. I envy you. <laughs> I want grandbaby so bad. I take a baby, baby. You know, <laughs> I mean, I don't know that I have time for that in my life, but I wouldn't say no to that. I'm just saying. Should I just do all one bead, or should I do like every other? <laughs> yeah, it, it, can I be? Can I be TT? You can be TT. Call. I want to be TT. Call. <laughs> emo said, "What? Listen, you can be TT emo. I guess." Stay in your lanes, emo. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'll come over there 
on your skateboard and mess with you. <laughs> You're gonna need you to calm that down, okay? She's gonna have to watch out. You have a robot fight with Colleen over oh, here. No. Oh, no. Hmm. We're gonna make it work. Okay. It's just hard. I don't know how you do this all the time. This is crazy hard. Okay, so we got the blue and the purple. I'm reading comments and can't seem to get this bead on the wire. <laughs> People must think that I was like having a problem or something. I was having a seizure. <laughs> trying endlessly to put this bead on the headband and I was reading the comments as they were going by. I was just like stuck. So my little loops are not perfect, but I don't care because you're not going to see them. Maria says she has nine grandchildren. Oh, bless you, Maria. That's amazing. That's a whole house full of love. That is. I don't know. I know, like, I've never had grandbabies, but I imagine it's pretty special. I'm not ready for that, so. Well, see, I'm older, so I'm at that age where I know I'm done with the kids, you know what I mean? And so what I got is what I got. <laughs> so now we gotta, like, for, for them to, you know, do their thing. Okay, I'm gonna look to see what you got in purple. What is the hashtag for the things we made? Saturday streams. And somebody asked, so Grace Lampwork, yes, that's the that's the website where you can get the um, the lampwork beads from. I saw Danielle did have some of those purple ones also on her website. Yeah. The hearts, the purple hearts. I don't know if they're still there, but you guys want to check her website too. She was selling some of them. What you call? I'm playing with kitties. <laughs> That's fine. I I will you be able to watch this on replay? Yes, you will. Absolutely. Ooh, those are so <laughs> you guys can come back and watch me cry over and over and over and over. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Sandy says, what size head pins do I need for really small beads like two millimeter? I need to make some dangles. I get confused by all the numbers. So Sandy, my, my suggestion would be 24 gauge. Um, that's usually the perfect size for tiny things, particularly beads that have a really small drill hole. And if you make, um, whether you make simple loops or you make wrapped loops, they're going to be small, so they're not going to overpower the bead. So it's a good question. Very good question. Guys, don't be afraid to ask questions. Absolutely. Ask us anything you need to know. We'll try to answer it for you. And if we don't know the answer, we'll find somebody who does. That's another great thing with this community. There's so many smart, Gosh, I know. talented people that mm -hmm. are just there for, your, for you to pick their brains. <laughs> Terry said, I didn't mean to make you cry. It's okay. It was happy tears, right? I mean, I didn't know I was going to cry when I answered your question. <laughs> it's all right. And listen, it's not the first time this community has seen me cry. You guys have seen me go through some really rough stuff. And I've had more than one breakdown in this community. And I'm not sorry about any of it because... You know, whatever I was going through, I made it through and hopefully it helps somebody else who was struggling with something. So, you know, it's good to see the happy tears, too. So. Yeah, for 
Call you have a mission. Yes, I do. <laughs> and I will complete it. <laughs> And if I don't, Q might disappear. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh, too funny. I love you two together. You two together are just unstoppable. Yeah, we make a pretty awesome team. We really do. Let's see. Yeah. There we go. Loaded this up finally. Yep, he's definitely a testament that there are still good guys in the world, for sure. For sure. All right, I have a question. What are your thoughts on using two colors at once on a macrame? Like Using two colors. Like, can I do two colors at once? Yes. What do you do? Like, skip over every other? Do you know what I mean? Or, like, how? Because I want to put beads on them, too. So, okay, it kind of depends on what you want. Do you want one color on one side and one color on the other side? Well, what I was thinking about doing was putting both, like, both both colors in the, in the seed bead. but Because I just wanted to ombre in the macrame. I don't, because the beads are... Like, I'm going to do sea beads on the outside. Mm -hmm. So I just want it like an ombre kind of look for the middle macrame because I'm going to do like maybe three, three, three knots in between each bead. Mm -hmm. Do you know, remember the bracelet I made that was mac was um, the ombre, the, the hemp one, the purple and the blue? Mm -hmm. But that was an ombre hemp. So that was just one strand. So I'm trying to recreate that with the bee line. Or C lot or D lot, whatever I got. So I'm trying to think. Okay, I think the only way that you're going to be able to, the only way you would be able to do that would be if you spliced them together. Gotcha. So you would have to melt the ends. Gotcha. Right? So, but then if you cut them into small sections like this yeah. and melted the ends together, the only problem is, is that you're going to see those melted ends throughout the work. Okay. Gotcha. So I don't know for sure that it's, I think the best that you can do is have purple on the left and blue, and blue on, the on the right. Gotcha. You okay. Know? This is um, not but you can problem. melt, you can melt the ends together to do that. If, yeah. you, if that's what you're, if that's what you're. Wanting. That's going to be an option. Yeah. Let me just try something real quick. Yeah, because I want to out because like you're a genius. I don't know I'm why you're asking. So, I'm just like, like I'm just throwing up a hail mary. Like, <laughs> I'm in the fourth quarter with seven seconds left. I'm just trying to do something at this point. <laughs> I don't even know if I remember how to do this. Okay, we're gonna try. Oh, so many people cried with us. I love it. I love this community. You guys are so amazing. I know it's just amazing. so awesome. It's like y'all have been family to me for so long and I feel that way about you guys. Like we all came through like the pandemic yeah. together and you know, if I hadn't been able to do these lives, I don't know how I would have made it through that. It would have been a very lonely, lonely time for sure. I've taken way more than I needed for sure. Well, I mean. It's not mine. <laughs> it's not mine. It's okay. <laughs> Let's just do something fun. Do something fun. I Better think, make it quick. I think I, that's when I found you. It was not, it was a little sooner than the pandemic. Yeah. Because I found you around 2019. Yeah, I remember. And you yeah. kept telling me that you were, you lived close by. And like, I was like, yeah. let's hang out. And you were like, not really. <laughs> no, yeah, really. I mean it. Let's hang out. <laughs> I know. I was like, what? <laughs> You want to hang out with me? No, <laughs> So not only was I new to jewelry making, but I was super fortunate to live near Sarah. And I found her so quickly. It was meant to be. It was meant to be. I, honestly, there is no other words for it. Yep. There's really not. There's no other explanation I want to, I'm going to accept. <laughs> other than it was meant to be. It was. 100%. Because really think about it. How, how like... I've never in my life was a George, never expressed, you know, never knew anything about this world. Right. And I had some, uh, a psychiatrist suggest that I do something with my hands that was constructive. And so I basically kind of just fell into this. Right. 
and I fell into it and then became like besties and working with like the best board crafter out there. And it's just like, <laughs> You're too whose kind. life is this? I mean, <laughs> who's so lucky like this? I cannot still believe it. You are, you're just, you're, mm. no, but I'm being serious. Think about it though. How fortuitous, that's a word, fortuitous. How, how serendipitous, serendipitous was that? You know, what's funny. You're not the only one who feels that. Well, I don't know how she feels about it now. Nicole, oh, Kathy. But Kathy, when yeah. Kathy met me, she, cause I had put together the Knoxville Bead Society. Right. And she met me through the Knoxville Bead Society and she was too, she was too, starstruck in the beginning to even talk to me yeah and i was like and i didn't know that for a long time because yeah, i'm yeah. like one of those people like i'll just talk to anybody i you know like yeah. i'm why are you starstruck i'm just this <laughs> normal person i didn't even know that and it, it was like months <laughs> later she was like yeah I, I didn't even i was afraid to talk to you at oh, first man. like what i'm just regular people y'all <laughs> oh, well I, I have to tell you i felt very similar the same way um I think that's weird because, like, I'm I just regular. Very, I'm, I was very like, oh my god, I can't believe. Like, <laughs> y'all are running. First of all, when I found out you live 15 minutes from me, I was like, whoa, man, this could be like become a stalker situation if I don't <laughs> if I don't behave myself. <laughs> hey, I've had that too. So I could easily stalk this woman. <laughs> <laughs> my neighbor. Beaded by Bettina says, does Q have any brothers? LOL. Just kidding. He was raised by a good mom. Listen, he does have a brother, but his brother is way young. <laughs> so yeah. you might need to wait a few years on that one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go grab a drink real quick and then I'm going to come back. Leave me by myself. Do you need anything from the kitchen? I'm good. <laughs> I'm leaving you by yourself. I'm Everybody trying. wants to know what you're doing. Oh, so. I'm, I'm trying to tie a knot. <laughs> but, um, I think I've been hitting the tape a little too much. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm having issues. Okay. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't really mean that. Oh, look, I did it. That's your knot. So I, I listened to what Sarah said, and I, I, I think she's right about what I should probably do. But I'm adventurous right now, and so I'm going to do what I want to do. And we're going to see if it works. And it's probably not going to work, but that's okay. Trial by error. I'm going to look at the comments real quick. Oh, I'm sending myself a super... I'm sending you a super sticker from your own phone. That's crazy. How much do I want to send Sarah? <laughs> send her out. Okay. I'm just reading the, I'm reading the, the comments, guys. I'm going to go over to Facebook so I can see some of your comments, too. Because I feel like all oh, my love is on YouTube. Let me find it. It's weird finding stuff on somebody else's phone. But I hit the search bar and now I can see who she, she searched last. Well, that's interesting. Oh, hi, Sarah. <laughs> Are you being nosy? What's you doing? <laughs> trying to find you on Facebook. <laughs> is it weird that I'm searching you on your own phone? No, it's kind of weird. There she is. There she is. So... Sarah Lovecraft Designs. I found her. Oh, there we are. Hi, guys. Facebook. Jessica. What's up? Got all my loves over here on Facebook. What's up, cuz? Sharon. Why am I yelling? I feel like I'm... I don't know why I'm yelling, guys. I'm sorry. It's like yelling. Oh, Sandy, that's awesome. I'm so glad you found a passion for it. Why are you not? Huh? Why is your face not showing? <laughs> <laughs> Turn it around so the people hey, can Jamie. see you. What's up, Jamie? Wait, I thought I was on Facebook a minute ago. Now I'm My you... battery is going to die, and I'm not. Plug it in. I did, Hi, but. I'm a little worried. Listen, do y'all have y'all tried the new Coke? No, is it is it really done? Yeah, it's on ten percent. Happened before? Yeah, it happened it's, before. Have y'all tried this one? It's, have you tried it? Oh, it tastes like bubble gum. If you don't like bubble gum, don't don't drink it. But <laughs> oh, Kathy says, "Don't make me cry." LOL. Oh yeah, totally starstruck. <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, Lori. What's up, Danielle? <sighs> All right. Oh, hey, Helene. Thank you so much. I'm going to turn you all back around again because I can. Yeah, because well, if you're going to die, we got to figure this out. I'm not going to die. Well, I mean, oh, my God. I know. That was awful. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Dang, golly. Oh, my God. My iPad. My Friends iPad. Like, Friends like you who needs enemies, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely casual, Jess. We are casual as butt. <laughs> That's a weird thing to say. I'm just saying. For casual as butt? Well, what? Because I'm trying not to use the cussy words. Oh, um, thank you, Shaquisha. I love your energy always. You're always amazing. I love when when I have Miss Shaquisha over on my on my YouTube. I know she's awesome. She's amazing. She's always positive. I love that positivity. Total Zick hop right there. I don't know what that accent you, is. Did you actually? You made a whole earring. I made, <laughs> I made two whole earrings. Holy crap. Holy butt. <laughs> Might have taken me three hours, but I did it. <laughs> Holy butt. I'm going to have to work with my project for next time. <laughs> the, the bracelet that took three years to make. Janella says there was another Facebook feed that only has 12 people on it. Wondered where all of you were. How weird that there's more than one stream. I it's think going that's on. odd. What's going on? Well, no, but those are pretty. Oh, they are. Look, they are a little. They're gorgeous. <laughs> shaking my head back. They're a little heavy. <laughs> Princess Colleen. Oh Lord, I left this. Uh, listen to me. What do we do again? I'll figure it out. What do we do? Oh, mm. Cheryl, I'm sending you big hugs. I'm Look really sending you big hugs. She said we were the bright spot in her day. She's going through something hard with her dog. And I'm oh, no. sending you lots and lots of love. I hear my cue out there. This new casual Saturday stream is fun. <laughs> it definitely is casual for sure. Yeah. I don't know why you would ever be starstruck. Listen, I'm just a person. <laughs> How do you keep beaded rings from stretching? Brandy says. And I think that was where she was talking about um, she was using non-stretchable peyote. Or, I'm sorry, non-stretchable fire line, but the rings keep stretching. They're a peyote stitch. Am I not finishing them correctly? So, and then I think somebody, Kathy, of course, Kathy would be the one. They do stretch if they get wet. Mine are pretty stable otherwise. And I think that that's true. And it doesn't matter if it's the... Um, the fire line or if you're using like something else like the wildfire so um i know that those are mostly color fast and waterproof but they do they do stretch i mean i don't i don't i don't care what the packaging says i'm just being 100 percent honest with you they do stretch if they get if they do get a little bit wet um thank you maria she said my hair looks cute it does like you <laughs> My husband straightened it. <laughs> I did. His is long. I love that he does that. And he does. He paints my toenails if I want. That's so just, wonderful. You know, he's amazing. Oh, everybody is so in their feelings <laughs> today. Erlene, thank you. I I love it. It's fun. It is fun. It's been fun. Like I have only made one pair of earrings, but I'm still having a good time. <laughs> amazing i'm a bit of a chatterbox i'm sorry no i love it talk some more do more to you to be more colleen come on do more colleen things where's q i want him to come in i don't know he went out the front door i'm not sure what for Hello. not my pretty uh what's that called not pioneer lady co woman woman whatever she's a lady she's a lady did i show you the blanket that i got that was parent pioneer mm -hmm. woman no. that i got from my mom for you Christmas? Know, i love the pioneer stuff does it look like this? Yeah, it does look like that. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's got more of that. See that darker, the darker oh, teal the, color? Yeah, that's It beautiful. had a lot of that in it. Oh, I love that color. <sighs> so pretty. That's a happy color. Yeah, it is. I can never get the camera <laughs> it's, right. it's a happy color. And my now I need a matching necklace. Just like, oh, oh, look. What did you get? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. You keep talking. No, no. I'm going to show gonna you. Say, my husband got me a matching teapot to match this for Christmas. That's how amazing he is. He got me a teapot. So I was going to show you guys. Yeah, I see. So I have some, these be they're not an exact match, but they're pretty darn close because they're black 
with the birds, right? So, Danielle also sent me oh, these. So, so I could make a matching necklace with these ones. Yes. See, the bird is just flying with the moon. Thank you, June. So, I could definitely do a matching a matching necklace. So, I was going to show you some of the other lamp work that Danielle sent me. So, I have those. And I have these, which are absolutely stunning. Look at those. Yeah, those are beautiful. so pretty. Like a piece of art, honestly. I know. Like They're incredible. They're so amazing. Yeah. I knew one was amazing, Jeff. I love her, too. Let's see. She sent me these little hearts that have little palm trees. I love those with the sun. Mm -hmm. Those are super cute. Those look good on my nails. I Girl. like those. I like them. Um, what else did she send me? Let's see. What's going on over there, Emo? Oh, these little babies. Oh, my phone's dying too. We just went to zero dark 30. That's <laughs> <laughs> not good at all. 5%. So she also sent me these ones. Look at those. Oh, yeah. So those are a little bit smaller. These would be good for earrings and smaller pendants, but so pretty. I love them. I love them. I love them. I love them. They're gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the last but not least, she sent me these with the peacock feathers on them. They're gorgeous too. Oh, those look good on my nails too. So pretty. Yes. Danielle has fabulous taste. She does. She's she amazing. she and she takes really good care of me for sure. She really does. She's awesome. So one of the things that I pulled out last night when I was going through my bag of like or my box of my favorite things, like trying to think of things. Look at these beads that I found that I got from somebody else's stash a million years ago. They're like these old vintage oh masks. God. But it's a bead. It's drilled. Oh, man. That's Look at those. I don't even know. Has anybody ever seen these? Like, do you know how old? Because I say vintage. They might not be vintage. But I've never seen these anywhere. And they're two-sided, which is amazing. Yeah. Those are, are they all different? Um. Yeah, so I there's look, a couple yeah, of this, different ones. This one has a little heart on her face. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm not good with this. I'm like, where is my camera? So this one. It's a little heart. There's that oh, one. No, like that now? No, it's like a snake and something. I don't know. I'm not sure. This one's got a little flower on her face. Like, I don't... I got them out of... Some, this one reminds me of Mardi Gras. Oh, yeah. This one. You know what's weird? When I was younger, oh, like a God, teenager, I had like those masks on my wall with the feathers and all the ceramic too. ones, the porcelain I, ones. I did, too. Yeah. I had a whole collection of those. And I had a friend that would come over and she'd be like, how do you go to sleep with all these faces on your wall? Because like, I'm weird. I love faces. So anytime I can get beads with faces on them. Yeah. I love faces. I love painting faces. I've got a lot of my art is face. And then, of course, I do makeup. Too, I want so. you to do my makeup one day. I would love to do your makeup. Was, yeah. <laughs> I was going to ask you today, but I was running mad late. I will. Any old time. I got bead caps on the floor. Thank you, Cecilia. Thank they you, almost Cecilia. look like there's snake trees. Mad wait, cute masks. They do look like masks, right? They look like Mardi Gras masks, mm -hmm. kind of. Mm -hmm. Um, Brenda had a mask collection too. So when I was a kid, you used to be able to go to the like the dollar store. Yeah, yeah. And you could get them in the box. And it'd be like four little ones. Yeah, and it would have a little check mark in the box, and you know yeah. you had to make sure that it matched the. I loved those. Yeah, I love those, those were too. so awesome. And then I love the bigger ones that when they would embellish them with the feathers, and yes. some of them would have like strands of pearls or. Mm -hmm. I yes, just... I love those too. They were awesome. Yeah, um, I, I'm all about pageantry. I love all the sparkles and everything. Me too. Thanks, Mama J. See you soon. Give a uh, grandson. So if that's my mom, they would be my nephews, right? Give my adopted nephews hugs. You talking to Janelda? Yeah. I love Janelda. He loves Janelda. Love you, Cecilia. Ah! Hey, baby. <laughs> it was a cue. 
Wave at the camera. That's cute, y'all. <laughs> We're still alive. We got 10 more minutes. But do you want to come and sit with us? You can come sit. <laughs> I said, nope. <laughs> you see that look he gave me? Oh, yeah. So the new Coke is the ultimate limited edition. Um, that's really all it says on the can is ultimate. I think the other ones, because mine are... It's what was it? Justice League, League of something, League of somebody's. Justice League of something. <laughs> I don't know. Was, League was, of Superman. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I think the ones that are not zero sugar have like um. A, a Q's name. behind me. Q's in this room, y'all. <laughs> oh, he's coming to sit in the seat. He is. Let's get. Let's ask Kumbaya. Q, I'm sorry. I got so much. Fun. Kumbaya. <laughs> Laurie says so way too cuss. much estrogen for Q. So we don't cuss. <laughs> Everybody's saying hi to Q. Super <laughs> Throwing Do you want to see what I made today? I made this. She didn't make Look anything. Did you think I went a little overboard with the um? So I have a large wing. That's a wing. She, she hasn't made anything. She I literally mean, put beads on the thing, and she. Hey, Q used the time station one time. He was trying to help me figure out a. Um, I'm going to take it home and finish a it. A knot one time. I promise I'll take it home and finish it. You say that. You and then say you tell that. me what the hashtag is and I'll post it. Q, everybody is saying hi to you. Everybody. Can I you can't see? see you. I'm going to no. see you. <laughs> Can you pull it in? No. Just pull it in. He won't pull it in. He's too shy. I'm going to turn my camera off. <laughs> I just edited you. Oh, wait, I should come back and say goodbye. Wait, where are you going? I don't know. I had a brief. Um, You've got 10 part. more minutes. You I better know. get your butt back on here. I my back and I thought we were all going to get in here. <laughs> get your camera back. Let me, let me come back. Okay. <laughs> You're not getting away from here. No <laughs> way. No <laughs> way. Albert, get out. So. We've hung out here on the live with all of these people for almost three hours now. We've got 10 minutes to go, right? Mm -hmm. And I only made one thing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you, um, jewelry making, um, I took everybody on a tour. Oh my God, it was so much uh, fun. Yeah, we went yeah. outside, went out in the front. Guess what? I fit in an inner tube now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a proud moment. <laughs> No, because, but I, mm -hmm. I wanted to see if I could fit into an interview. And I did. He keeps looking over here like, you are on camera. <laughs> no, he's not. Sarah, good Lord. He can see you know, me. No, if I ever have a secret, you're not the one I'm telling. I'm just saying. <laughs> if I ever have a secret. <laughs> if I ever have a secret. Because you know I got a big That's mouth. That's not I don't have any nice. Secrets. That's not nice. I don't know how to secrets. I'm just telling everybody everything. I don't know. So, Colleen, Colleen wet her pants. That happened. Oh, yeah. That happened. Well, probably more than you need to know, but you want to see? <laughs> you looked at my shirt earlier. Don't say you didn't. I know you did. I'm sure you'll see when I stand Um, Let's see. What else is going on here? Jessica wants to see what you made. Who, me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. Hold on. She didn't make anything. That. Yes, I made this. I made that. It's up and down. So she like, basically put beads on the time station. That is all she's done for three hours. If you, if you don't like it this way, you could just do this, and then you could do that way. And if that's what you prefer, listen, it's all up to you. You make what you want, okay? I'm not telling you. She didn't make Look, anything. Hold on. Look at all this. What, what was I thinking? How big is her wrist for crying out loud? What was I doing? Well, okay, you, I feel like that's a lot. I feel like that's a bit excessive. Just making sure you have enough. That's what I was doing, because you know. <laughs> to be continued. Except here's the thing: it has to actually be a bracelet in order for her to be able to wear it. Yeah, I know. Well, my thought, my thought process was. Sherry said, "Colleen made pop tart crumbs." Yes, I did. Sherry, no, those were not pop tart crumbs. Those were carrot muffins. Carrot sugarless, muffins with no, completely sugar-free. Tasted like um, cardboard. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Zero calories. Zero. And minus 70. <laughs> it's minus 12 calories. So it was fine. <laughs> Nobody... Listen, no small animals or children were hurt here, okay? <laughs> That's all you need to know. Let it go. She quit just taking up for you. She says it's progress. Creativity takes time. <laughs> Thank you. My sister. I appreciate that. Finally, someone has my back. It's not going to point out what I didn't make. Oh my gosh, that's too funny. She should have said I made an effort and I'm agreeing with her. She did. She's She's got your back. <laughs> I got her back, right back, right back. Lots of backs. <laughs> listen, listen. I had, to, I didn't want to take the glue. I had to bring the the package because I didn't know how to operate the glue. I literally read the instructions during the live and learned how to use. You it. don't know how to glue? No, it's not that I don't know how to glue. <laughs> I never had this bit. Like you have to like, there's clicks involved and so many, and it says here. That's a little complicated. Yeah, turn nozzle clockwise. <laughs> First of all, I had to figure out what that was until clicking stops. Did you know about the clicks? I didn't know about the clicks. I they, normally just kind of rip the top off of it. That's what happens. I had one of these and I did that before and I thought it was broken. <laughs> so I threw it away. It's because I never clicked it. So you have to click it. You got to click it. Guys, click your glue, okay? <laughs> Don't make my mistake. Oh, my goodness. Anyway. That Coke Zero has a bit extra. I love it. I hate that I missed the first couple of hours. You can always go back and watch um, the replay for sure. It says, Colleen put together yeah. one earring, but it disappeared. Yeah, what happened to the earrings that you were working on with the Dremel and the whole... Oh, like... well, what had happened was... Um, <laughs> what happened was... I, I put them to the side to let the glue dry. Yes. And, and then know, what happened? That's, they're still there. I mean, what do you mean? What? They're still here. They didn't leave. They're just... They're, they're dry now. They're dry. Yeah, but did for... you turn them into anything? I did. What did you turn them into? I did. I did this. Oh, now they're ready to be something. Yeah, I was going to say it. I did that. <laughs> Impressive. Impressive. I'm here all week. This is why I don't sell kits. <laughs> or anything. <laughs> I don't sell anything because I don't do anything. Oh, my gosh. Anyway. I like this shirt. Thank you. We have matching shirts. You got matching shirts? We do. I can't. I have one, too. Yeah. I should have worn mine today. I didn't know he was oh going to wear his. <laughs> I have a shirt that has a picture of me and Wayne on the front. Next time You're I'm going to wear it. Yeah. But it was only a 2X, so it didn't fit. Now I'm at this is a 2X, so I'm doing good. I want to see I'm going to wear it next time. I think I won't. Oh, I know you will. <laughs> you, you've walked around with a cat butt on your shirt all day today. I know. I'm, I'm putting nothing past you. Get them spayed and neutered, people. <laughs> Keep the pet population down. It's sad out there. It's a jungle. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Everybody thinks you should do stand up, Colleen. I think I should too, except I, I didn't have this anxiety problem. So, could you do it if you felt like nobody was watching? Oh, probably, because that's what I usually do at home. <laughs> you do stand up routines like in your living room for real? I do. Yeah. So. But I don't write anything down. I just got, I get into a thing where I just, I talk to myself at night to the animals. Why five cats and a dog? That's not talking to yourself. But yeah, I talk, to, I talk to them, but I don't really write anything down. I just kind of, I don't know. Yeah. I no, I know. It, and though. I've, I've, when, when you spent the night over here that night, you, I mean, you were on a roll. I'd like to try it, but it's scary. Yeah, but you're so good at it. Your timing is impeccable. Well, when I'm on, but what if I'm having a butt day? <laughs> Everybody has a butt day. You've seen me have butt jewelry days. I mean, it happens. I really want to do theater, too. I really want to do theater. <laughs> Like live theater? Yeah. So bad. I can hook you up with that. Let's do it together. Like I have time. Okay. I would love to, That's but true. True. I'll find time. If it's important to you, I'll find well, time. Well, no, I can do it, then you can come see me and, and do my makeup. Will I'll you, do anything you will want Will you to be do. my makeup person? Yeah. Will you call the makeup person with my stylist? I'll be your stylist. <gasps> I have the best stylist in the world. <laughs> Don't know about all that. Oh, but, yeah. Can we go on tour together? <laughs> could you imagine? We would be in so much trouble. Yeah. Kitty cities would be kicking us oh, out. Man, we would have so much fun. We would have fun. We have fun anyway. We don't we have, do have to anywhere. We don't have, have to leave this room and we're having fun. I mean, so 
mean, we haven't done anything for three hours and it's been a blast. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> I love all of you. All right. Listen, so we are getting right up here, you guys, to the three hour mark where it is time for us to sign off so that you guys can go back to your regular Saturday doing whatever it was you were doing. But where you came to hang out with us. However, I have seen in the comments that a lot of you all are really enjoying our Saturday stream and have really liked it. And guys, I appreciate it. We've had a constant about 300 people here for That's nonstop. That's amazing. Yeah. For, for the entire time. Wow, so people guys. have been in and out, but it's been pretty much right thank around you. 300 people. And I cannot thank you guys enough for coming and hanging out with us because I really was a little stressed that nobody would come and hang out with us because three hours is a long time. It and went so fast. it did go by really, really fast. We didn't make a whole lot of jewelry, but we did have a whole lot of fun. And I think you guys had a lot of fun too. So, you know, thanks for coming and hanging out and spending a Saturday with us. We definitely will do this again. It's not going to be an every Saturday thing because I mean, I don't, I, I like to have, you know, a Saturday where I can sleep in and stuff, but we will do this again. It was a whole lot of fun guys. Don't forget. Um, Colleen mentioned earlier she's very quick about it about a new um a new live that will be happening over on the straighten your crown group on monday what's the time for that 8 p.m eastern central okay so 8 p.m eastern time super cash just like this and guys, it will be on the Straighten Your Crown group. So if you're not a part of that group, you might want to go and become a member of that group. That group is not necessarily about jewelry making. It's more kind of like a mental health group. Yes. Not in a like clinical kind of way, but in an uplifting, like we love each other. It's yes. a safe place kind of way. And we want to make that group a lot more fun and do some more things there. Colleen yes. is definitely going to be doing some more uh, things. So if you want to see more Colleen, that's definitely the place to do it. Oh, please. We're definitely going to be doing more of these Saturdays streams together and um so yeah as much as you guys will come and hang out and support us we'll do whatever it is that y'all want us to do so mm -hmm. i mean because we wouldn't be able to do it if you guys weren't here i mean we could but it wouldn't be nearly as much fun, fun at all <laughs> it was just me, me and colleen laughing at each other <laughs> so i mean you know which is fun and all but, but... Uh, it's nice to have an audience yes <laughs> All right, so we're going to go, you guys, it's, uh, Debbie says, say the name, say the group name again. It is the Straighten Your Crown group. It's a yes. Facebook group. You definitely need to go check it out. Um, and the streaming for that is just going to be what on Facebook for yeah, now. Yeah, just on Facebook because it's just me and my cell phone, my cell phone and I. <laughs> yeah. Um, if it's if it gets going and and everything and everybody gets super excited with it, we're gonna we're definitely gonna switch it over to Streamyard so yeah. that you can oh, send yeah. to both. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah. So um, that'll be. But just to tell the fun. folks, there will be just much like today, no jewelry making happening. Just super casual. I mean, we intended to make jewelry today. Yeah. But I mean. <laughs> All right, everybody. I uh, will have more blah, blah, words are hard. I'll have more reminders for you guys for that coming up on Monday. We'll make some posts so that Yay. you guys won't forget. Thank you guys all for hanging out with us Thank and letting you. us be a part of your Saturday. We love you so, so much. And don't forget, we'll be back together on Tuesday at 1 p.m. for our regular live. I'll be working with the Bargain Bead Box. Yay. So if you want to see that, I don't know if it's going to be a design on the flyer or if I'm going to do something in advance, but it's a pretty one. So um, I'm looking forward to, to doing that. You guys have a great rest of your weekend. Okay. We love you. We'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>